all good hey everybody how are you doing what is going on i happen to be storm of Lion. king supreme bonjour bonjour my friend what is going on how is everybody oh and we've got agent giggles we have an agent giggles bonsoir bonsoir actually hold on we get we get um all right did that work? king supreme in all right uh i'm doing very good very very good low country in maine zimnagorsk uh, in Tamir, we're already in doing method. so so well. So those of you who are just joining in, um, the other voice you hear is Storm of Iron, Echo Spark. I'm not sure. And we could watch. <laughs> you can watch everybody. Is is you that watch Matt, everyone all at once? Mattington Bear. <laughs> yeah. All it right. is Mattington Bear. All right. Yep. We are. Uh, we're gonna pin the link at the very top, right up there. So anybody, um, Echo Spark, put it up. If if it's music, put it in the Discord in the music channel. That way, I won't forget about it, and I'll I'll be able to go back and I'll be able to see it like after the fact. Um, but the Viking T TV series, my mother told me, uh, I don't think I've heard it mixed up with Heimdaller. Uh, yeah, put it put it in the uh, the the music. Yeah, music. Put it in the music. That'll be fantastic. Um. Oh, you're waiting for your... So, King Supreme, are you going to be able to jump in with us? Because I know we Hopefully. had connection issues. What's yes. up, weirdos and peeps? JR Strang, you are... If if I am if I am the King Weirdo and uh, Space Viking is the Emperor Weirdo, then, then JR Strang, you would be like the first Lieutenant Weirdo, I think. Thank you. You're being such a cat right now. All right, what I saw you knock that pen off the desk. I saw that. Things things are happening. Things are getting knocked off of things. Things are <laughs> things are afoot. typical cat behavior. Uh, so guys, um oh, I, I logged into the to the mess that I created with these trucks <laughs> on top of other trucks. Uh, and we we're gonna go to the Yukon, which we still might. We can do that. Depending on how this goes. Redbeard. We're gonna we're gonna open loader you can. You haven't been in in a while. Redbeard, how are you doing, dude? Uh currently my sister is getting checked and repaired by the guy that is selling the car. Very cool. That right there is Redbeard. You guys should go check him out. Your story. Another awesome snowrunner player. And see that? See all that stuff that's happening right there? We do a lot of that. We do so much of that with just flinging trucks off the end of that runway and it's wonderful it is epic and it is fantastic camo will alternate as well so next time if you want to call dibs for next time oh geez what am i doing i'm never going to see that m, &M again you're never going to give it up <laughs> you're never going to let it down no no <laughs> i will desert it though oh it because it's dessert uh ah. thank you what is going on how are you doing hey. Welcome on in. So good to see you. Here uh, you go, Loader. Um, very good. Redbeard, that's awesome. Um, I'm gonna make for I'm gonna make for the warehouse and I'm gonna grab the four wooden planks. What I am going um, to do. Camo, I think we're gonna try to get um truck do I wanna use? Oh. About ooh. Where we, are you? Where can we use? That's so weird. I have the. It's like it's open, but it's not. It's open, but it's. We're gonna try to get King Supreme in. Uh, yep. We need to get King Supreme in here. King Supreme, if you are, if you are ready to go. He got booted last time and couldn't yes. come back. So we want to yep. try. You waited all day to play. Well, we have to, we try to make sure that everyone gets a fair gets a fair uh, shake. Why can't I hear myself? Yeah. We're going to, uh, uh, King Supreme is ready. Okay. Uh, didn't stream last weekend because I was out of town. I'm excited to get back. Well, uh, did you go anyplace fun? 
Uh, Pengu, this game is fantastic, and I personally have a wonderful time playing this game. I have somehow managed to rope space biking into playing this game, and if you guys look at the pinned comment in the chat, you can watch both of us at the very same time. Uh, let's see. We want to... I'm gonna find where that window went. Nope. Have the beacons? I don't know. Oh, there's my beacon. We're gonna we're gonna turn on the beacons. beacons uh, so multi switch my iPad are not playing well together. Okay, no problem. And I think um, I think King Supreme is basically ready. Wow, there is. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. There. Th this is this is where funny things took place. Um. Uh, McPherson, mm -hmm. Kansas, so not really uh, went there because my grandma, aunt, uncle were there. Oh, cool. You know what? Honestly, that's, it's it's funny you mentioned that because I was talking to my I don't know where boss. that window went. Um, hello, Isley Ducks. Hello, hello. Captain Irritant. I was talking to my boss about grandparents, basically. That was actually pretty cool. Oh, well, there it is. What okay. window are you talking about? Hung out, watch movies all I, you know, I, sometimes. I had to pop it out. Sometimes that's what you need. Oh, that window. Uh, that yeah, window. you. The you window. <laughs> the oh, one of you. Okay. Okay. Now we can get now we can Agent get motor Giggles. and now they can actually see what's happening on your screen. Agent Giggles, when are we getting you in this game, my friend? When are we getting you in there? Yeah, Agent Giggles there. hasn't had a chance yet. All right, we got karma for the young permit. I mean, form. they call them accidents, not on purposes. I had uh, a couple of on purposes today. <laughs> Yo, dude, uh, when I'm not busy, we, we will. We will definitely have to plan something. Uh, this weekend is going to be an, a fun-filled, action-packed weekend. Yeah? Yeah. Why? Because I'm going to see you on Saturday. <laughs> I saw that coming. Yeah. Hello, hello. Yeah, Captain Ayrton, I appreciate it. Welcome in. Uh, if King you came Supreme, in we're, Storm, we're getting that code for you. I appreciate you giving us both. Do, I, do you need the code for me? Uh, King Supreme needs the code. Yeah. SBS8W. Uh, King Supreme, there you go, my friend. Uh, but yes, I am going to the Plastic City Comic Con on Saturday. And from that, I am going to be hanging out with our ever awesome other voice that's happening in your earlobe, Space Viking. Yes. Also, another occurrence that's taking place, if anybody is familiar with an individual by the name of Mad Viking King. That guy. And he is going to be in the Boston area uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I want to say. I think also Monday. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, going to try to get a couple of people together for that. But that is going to be... He wants to do up a restaurant or something like that around Boston. I am not good with Boston locations or anything like that for actually planning things. I'm just terrible at that part. If we were doing stuff that was not Boston, I would be much better equipped. Although, Same. after this weekend, next weekend is the New England Toy and Record Show. Yeah, which, and they never got back to me, so I don't think I'm going to be doing that one. Um, I, I recommend just... I, I would say... Uh, I'm down to check it out. Like if, if you oh, have the time, I would I would highly recommend they, they have an after party. They have a comic con or a costume contest at two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, oh, why is that King Supreme? Where are you guys heading? Oh, the I am warehouse. going to the warehouse. I'm going to pick up four wooden planks. Your okay, internet what was is disconnected. Doing? Uh, dude. Uh oh. That's rough. That is rough. Oh. So you can join this time, though, King, right? Gonna play some Overwatch? All right, dude. 
Oh, uh, I see you in there. Favorite, who's your favorite character on Overwatch? Just All right, you King go. Supreme. We gotta, we gotta get these service spare parts. I don't know what loader's up to, but... How am I stuck on this truck? Um, uh, I don't know. You did some I'm getting, stuff I'm there, somehow buddy. getting stuck at base. Alright, uh, looks like King Supreme is joining in. That's a tough one. I'd nice. say Osiris. I like, uh, who's, who's the big dude that looks like a giant armored knight? That's like the only guy that I find remotely interesting. Oh, that's Night Santa. That's Night Santa. Oh, does Night Santa bring uh, gifts to all the wonderful boys? <laughs> Reinhardt. Of course you would know the, the dude that I'm talking yes. about. <laughs> Reinhardt's cool. He's uh, actually my to... favorite character to play. Oh, God. Uh, Rein... I like Reinhardt. Go to Cheers on Beacon Hill if it's still open. That's the only Boston restaurant I know. <laughs> Beacon Hill's wonderful in general. I like um, not um, what's what's the one the 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 market the is it Quincy Market, the one that's got like the three buildings all in a row and then there's just all kinds of yeah. stuff. Yeah, that one's good. It's just definitely tourist prices. Yeah, it's very touristy. Maybe have to uh, maybe have to kidnap Mad Viking King and bring him to some place different cool and interesting up in like uh southern new hampshire or something like that yeah thank you for the follow king supreme appreciate you right let's go over here wow there's even a fuel truck right over here yeah i left that one there good call we'll, we'll put it this way good call also we're gonna need logs uh were you taking a picture of your screen uh, I guess is the, the, the big question there. Isolate ducks all day. I did see you pop in. I hope you're doing well. I'm glad. I remember you telling me earlier that you're going to see Game Grumps live. Well then. I never said I was good at this game. I mean, I never said I was good at this game either. I just played it a lot. Yeah. Uh, there is a ton of great restaurants at the seaport. I think the last time I, I went with a, a group of friends into Boston and had seafood, we went to the Barking Crab, which is a hell of a name for a restaurant. Screenshot with the free cam on the console, sent it to my alt account, click on it. Um, yeah, don't, don't take a, oh crap, don't take a picture of your TV screen with your phone. It doesn't really work like that. Uh, it can work like that. <laughs> well, it doesn't work so well because Camo was trying to share uh, essentially screenshots that weren't really working that well. Oh, so, like you couldn't actually see what was happening? Um, basically, it just looked like a haze of a cloud and stuff. Oh, I see. But if you're trying to take a screenshot and oh. if, the, if the thing on your screen... Here, check this out. We'll go to uh, we'll go to photo mode, right here. This one right here, where it says aperture. Go all the way down to aperture. See how the uh, see how the background is not in focus. We bring this all the way down to zero percent, and now it's all in focus. What do I do, uh, King Supreme? I am hauling the wooden planks going over to the tunnel. Open the tunnel up. Uh, what do you two have? I don't know what loader's doing. Advice? Uh, don't let it get too oily. And then stay to the cage. <laughs> Mad Max, Aging what's up, dude? Goals. For hair advice? Um, hair, hair advice for, for your daughter, for yourself. Um, I'll give some Aging beard Giggle. care. Beard care advice. Uh, I need the beard care advice. Viking Revolution Beard Balm. This stuff is awesome, and they have it in a bunch of different scents. I like the cedar and pine. Uh, I picked up a new odor. It's called, it's like citrus, and it's actually really, really nice. Uh, basically a little little bit on the thumbnail. Work it till it's like, uh, you know, quasi-liquidy, and then just work it through. Good to go. Good to go. We are going... To the right. That's a very heavy truck. 
Oh, you've never seen that? Which one's heavy? Uh, the, the Kenworth. I mean, that'll happen. Camo. That'll, that'll definitely happen. I, I think Duncan Bay and the other British Columbia map is probably some of the more fun maps just because of, of how they've used some of the terrain features. The idea that you can use the ferry to get back and forth across it is kind of cool. It's different. It's it's something that I wish they animated, but uh, I might I'll take that. what we can get. <laughs> no. For long hair, you want to put it in a ponytail or two ponytails. Use a vacuum to make yourself or someone else. <laughs> what do you... Yeah, uh, Jerry Strang, you're talking out. about a, you're talking about a, oh my a God. floby. Ow. Oh, God, these slabs are just destroying my, my truck. <laughs> so you have, you're getting the wooden planks. Yep. Uh, we need okay. four service spare parts at this point in time. I don't know. All if right, I'm going to get the service it. spare parts. Okay. Loader is rescuing our trucks. Which we're going to retain when we go to the town anyway. So they actually, Mad Max, speaking of zombies, we now have a port of Red Dead Redemption for the PlayStation 4 and for the Nintendo Switch. It also comes with Undead Nightmare. So oh, both it comes the, with it. Yeah, the base game and Undead Nightmare are all available. That's awesome. I love that. I don't <laughs> know if I'm going to pick that up, though. Um, I don't know because it's still $50. And it's it's not even a remaster. It's a port. So they just ported it from PlayStation 3. It's locked at 4K and 30 frames a second. Oh, I see. So... Scene from Wayne's World just popped into your head. Party time, Actually, excellent. You know what other scene you guys should probably be cognizant of? Uh, this little one right here. So see that? See that link right there? That is the brand new link for oh, Space Vikings Rise and Mind podcast. You were, you were doing my, you do my announcement for me, dude. Thank I you. am, my friend. I, yes, I kind we've... of each do it. We, we have moved to a brand new um, Twitch page for Rise of Mind. Yep. Because um, the Space Viking 42 page is going in completely different directions soon. Ooh. And I wanted to make sure to separate the two brands. And uh, now it's got its own Instagram. It has its own Twitch page. It's going to have its own TikTok. I think that's fantastic. So, yeah. so go hop over there and give us a follow if you guys uh, were enjoying the podcast on Saturday mornings. Um, we're still going to be working out some of the some of the bugs over the weekend, so there won't be an episode tomorrow or uh, on Saturday. Well, you're you're also going to be kind of ironing out a little bit of a trip tomorrow too. So yes. No, wait. Tomorrow's Friday. Yes. Saturday. <laughs> yes. I don't even know what day it is. I don't even Correct. know what day it is. <laughs> Don't mind me. Apparently, I need to rise and mind my own business over here. <laughs> yeah. Daddy. Is Daddy oh, teasing you? A storm stream. That's interesting. I know, isn't it? I know I had one day off, and I'm, I'm still oh, all I, kinds of discombobulated. I Did read I that without the comma, and it looked like you were being being teasing, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, a storm stream that's interesting. I mean, sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. <laughs> so the spare parts. Lemon ginger tea. You know, so I have a really difficult time settling on a good flavor of tea. I'm, I'm very picky when it comes to my tea, and I found the best tea is honestly the one that you get that they serve you at a uh, like a Chinese food restaurant. Come on, Storm. Everyone knows that the best tea is honest tea. 
<laughs> um, actually, the uh, we we we've learned from actual English folk that you want to heat your tea water up in the microwave. That's how you make it, or at least that's how it burns their brains. Because an English person absolutely hates to, it. It's like uh, vampires and garlic. That's that's how bad eating tea water up in a microwave actually is. That's Driving how it feels waste. to them? Yes. Yeah, it is It is legitimately like garlic to a vampire. Or Next sunlight. time I'm in Buttery Smooth stream. Oh. Yeah, we finished the bridges. Lo oh, Loader was going to do the bridges. That's right. No, yeah, we finished the bridges oh, yeah, we did. last last time. Yep, we, stuck. we finally finished that. King Supreme has been stuck it. <laughs> uh oh. All right. Uh, where is King Supreme, anyways? Loader's over there. Oh, there's an upgrade part all the way over there. Uh, King Supreme is stuck in the ice. All right, King Supreme, what are you using for a truck? You well, get AMK MK38. All right, King Supreme. Right, what's a good route? Oh, Storm, what, what route did you take to drop off the wooden planks? So, from where you are, just follow the road. Follow the road all the way around, and you'll be in a better better spot. So, oh, King see. Supreme, I am going to see. Follow the road, he says. You had Nazob, but it's gone for some reason. I see, I see Storm. Oh, I see what you mean by follow the road. Yep. You're going. You're going all the way around, huh? Uh, yeah. Honestly, the uh, best way to do it. There's just too many, uh, too many pitfalls. Yeah. You go everywhere else. Yeah. I see you okay. changing tires, Storm. I oh, am. Yeah. Uh, King Supreme. Jump into. Let me. Uh, let me jump back into my other truck. Okay. So, so while we're saving King Supreme, I wanted to just do another short announcement here that we have a multi-stream link. Oh yeah. To those of you hopping in from my stuff. I uh, lost my chat. There it is. Um, we have a multi-stream link where you can watch us both. You can watch Storm and myself. And Twitch is so yeah, generous that they actually have included that, that as a viewer. So, King Supreme, if you need to, there is now a Zix 612H that is parked outside of the garage. So if you find yourself stuck again, you can jump over to that truck and extricate yourself. Uh, I am going to continue trying to get this load of wooden planks over to our destination. I'm that is right, the destination I'm coming up unknown. right behind you, Storm. Oh, you is, is you? Yeah, I got my, I got the service spare parts. <laughs> Alright. I got, I got four crates of 10 millimeter sockets <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> we're going to lose them all. <laughs> oh, we are. All of, all of those 10 millimeter sockets are going to be down the ravine somewhere. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. Don't, don't you worry. Don't you worry. I just, that's, that's what I picture when I picture service spare parts. <laughs> So we are trying to, so he's got those, I've got these, we are, what are we doing? Um, Whatever we want. Yeah, basically. I, I also think that at, let's go to, let's go to photo mode over here. Um, That's a long truck. Geosaurus, what is going on? How are you doing? Um, <laughs> Half road will travel. It's just the Kenworth on a road feels like a waste of its power and wheels. Yeah, a little bit. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful machine. It makes me happy. I'm just I'm pretty certain that Saber Interactive watches our streams and just knew to make the trucks the right colors for us. Uh you're probably not wrong. <laughs> It's like that space viking fellow sure likes turquoise. Let's let's make a truck that that is those colors. That's kind of cool looking. Very cool right there. 
Um, oh, you're on the bridge. I am. I was taking a picture. Uh-oh. I don't have any chains. You're in for an interesting gonna... time. At least the Kenworth can go low and slow. Actually, does the Kenworth have access to chain tires? I forget. I don't think so. I don't think, think so. it does. Maybe it doesn't. It does have those um those snow tires, though, that it comes with. <laughs> Gosh, he sure likes turquoise. Agent giggles. <laughs> so I had this this friend in college. Oh, that's great. We, we we called him White, because he he couldn't he didn't go in the sun, ever. We just his nickname was White. Um. And he used to do this thing. Where he would say turquoise is turquoise. Turquoise. All right, yeah. what's up? And and we were all, we we're all kind of like we we're a little bit buzzed one day and. We we went through all the colors in the in the same accent. Oh boy! And we we're like we we're like orange, blue, <laughs> green, <laughs> turquoise. <laughs> turquoise. Turquoise. That's that's like that, that's almost like um, that that's almost like a Cajun accent, like straight from Louisiana. Oi, the a turquoise. Bit, yeah. Is that man from Appalachia? Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> But old man Jenkins living in the mountains, that's that's me. I, I'm I'm slated to become the old man Jenkins. I'm the heir to the old man Jenkins name. I mean living in Appalachia. Possible. Anything is possible. Also, uh speaking if of I, living if, in the mountain, there was If I lose my mind properly. I I would There was what? I would have no problem saying that. Um, there was a show on Netflix, and it had to do with, like, the early hippie counterculture movement. And this place, it was called Murder Mountain. And it's out in California, and I can't remember the name of the show on Netflix. I, I'm going to have to find it. Uh, I only watched part of it before I ended up watching more episodes, or my rewatch of Psych. But, um... It's, like, so good. Oh, I love that show. If there were any two characters from a from a television series I would meet, it would be Sean and Gus, because they are hands down the two people that I definitely identify as, like, being the most friendly. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know if... So, it was... Uh, this, this place, Murder Mountain, was synonymous with, like, hippie counterculture, and it was... Oh, my was God. Twitch finally of, did it. What's that? They finally did it. Who did? Twitch. Which did what? They, they put in the chat window, incoming ad break. Oh, they did? Where's Finally. That? It just popped up. It said incoming ad break. Ad starts in 35 seconds. And then it has a countdown. And now I can finally be like, sorry about the ad, guys. Like, if I'm telling a story, I can, I can like, pause myself. Uh, once an ad break is about to happen, it automatically. I don't. I don't think I've ever had that. Is it in your OBS or where it's is a, it? it? It's in the chat window, and yes, it is in OBS. Uh oh. I don't have that. I don't think I've ever seen that. It just. I think they just. What you you're what you're gonna want to do is reset your chat window because I think they probably released it today. Oh. Eh, we'll worry about that is later. Is the other map open yet? That's what we're doing. Um, yeah, we're, we're right now later. That. We're heading in that direction. I've got the planks. You've got the service spare parts. We're gonna make uh, we're gonna make tunnel magic. Oh my goodness! What's is that a new? Oh no! Wait, we're a PG stream. Sorry. What? We're gonna we'll magically open a tunnel because we're not gonna actually exit the vehicle, and the tunnel is magically going to open. You're very right. Yes. That cannot be misconstrued as anything at all okay i don't know where your no. mind was going with that no i'm just i'm just kidding it was like a tinge of it <laughs> it's not actually uh it's a four hour drive from you uh today was the first time i've seen it when auto ads are about to roll it will show up when it goes away after oh yeah they were so uh who was it who posted in the discord about all the different feature changes that were actually coming to which I know, I know I know they're getting more stable yeah it's been it's been stable lately 
uh don't drink 60 percent and stream well i mean that's on you guys that's not on me i'm i have water and i have non-alcoholic carbonated splash fizz anything else needed um i'm not sure loader we're probably going to be switching to yukon after we open up open up the the tunnel so okay. um stand by we we will have lots needed when we go to the yukon and there we go that is all of the service bear or uh, no the the lumber we done i'm right behind done you, deposited storm. lumber i'll be doing it soon i'm going up the treacherous road on the left can't see the zombies they're invisible they're frozen they're in the snow Ooh, dead snow yes awesome. dead snow you got oh my god you got what i was saying this is why we're friends <laughs> <laughs> dude dead i am snow. so looking I, a, you know what? A... i'm really excited about hanging out on saturday not gonna lie <laughs> me too not gonna lie me too uh there's a service trailer oh that's right there's a service trailer needed for the second part that's a very good point i forgot about that the service trailer is all the way over here okay wait, wait there's uh, a second part for the tunnel yes i oh, heck. am okay so we have some more time for it then okay i'm gonna disconnect i'm gonna start heading back to basically it's still on this uh daniel's off-road gaming thank you very much for the reminder because i had completely forgotten about that that this is in fact a two-parter yeah i appreciate that too because i was getting excited and i don't i don't want anyone to ever let me feel excited for too long <laughs> wow no I'm just i mean I mean, it did it did kind of dash my hopes like yay we're almost done <laughs> and then, nope we're not i know done. so one thing my my brother used to do when uh when we were growing up is if we were we're on a long trip he knew how to press my buttons and what he would say is um he'd say we're almost halfway there and that would always make me so angry i don't want to know when we're almost halfway i want to know when we're almost there yes there you are i'll uh kind of ditch off to the left here i'm still gonna scrape you a little bit there oh no you're good good totally good so I, i'm waiting for the helicopter update oh my god nope nope we're not gonna drop that trailer like we did last time okay, no don't good. do that I so like... when, when are we gonna get the uh the chinook um uh, cheat? Huh. it's like a cheat that you can unlock god can you imagine i, that'd be, I don't that'd be fun i wonder if the game engine would actually support it so the interesting thing about this game engine is it was discussed that uh i was mentioning it since king was asking what he could do oh uh, okay uh he's all the way over here i mean any task that you guys can see or any contract that you guys can see we haven't opened up the map yet but i mean we're oh crap oh my we're god that fanning the break so. so you were just talking about the game engine yeah and as you were i i just tried something that works in real life for icy roads where you fan the gas mm -hmm. to try to find traction it works in snow runner also if you go to the That's edge crazy. of the road where the ice is not and you can put at least a couple of your tires on the edge you can in fact get some traction on the side of the road so that's also very Saber. useful dang saber interactive but yeah the the game engine itself and the discussion about how weather could potentially change the driving conditions and unfortunately the game engine itself i believe doesn't support i think this is it, this is unreal it uses the unreal engine so i can't get inspection my 2006 h3 what should Wait, i ask what? for it it uses the unreal engine i think so or havoc it might use havoc uh jr strength yeah. absolutely all righty so ladies and gentlemen those of you who are just coming in now um i have an announcement we did announce once Havoc. before but um so the podcast that i run with my buddy cp sketch is now on its own channel so if you guys are excited to um watch the next live recording of rise in mind 
it's going to be at this link. Um, Storm, can I put links in your chat? Um, I think so. I don't know if you can. I'll Let me try it. Do I have permission? Oh, there it goes. It works. Okay. Yeah, oh, it works. Uh, oh, nice. So there's the link. Those of you who uh, didn't hear the announcement before, um, it's now on its own channel. Um, please help that channel get to affiliate so that we can have some emotes that are purely for Rise and Mind. We're excited to have some Dig Dug themed stuff oh, for yeah. chat interaction. Because the entire podcast right. is Dig Dug themed. I dig it. <laughs> so, Agent Giggles, I have to ask, um, what is currently wrong with it, and why will it not pass inspection? Those are the two key factors right there. Oh, yeah. That's another muffler transmission tire leak. Okay. Uh, what's wrong with the transmission? Muffler's a non muffler's not an issue. That's an exhaust system, that's cake. Um, tire leak in terms of it needs tires or yeah. So oh the transmission needs to be replaced. Okay. I have a I have a tire leak. Nope. Actually. In my car too. I got a lot of shit wrong with my car. What? While we're on the subject, what? There's a lot of car people in here. Yes, there is. To think of it. Mm -hmm. So, hey, hey, car people. Um, computer guy, not car guy here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, my car is creaking all over the place. Every yep. every suspension is creaking. When I when I turn, this the entire steering system is creaking. <laughs> I wonder if it's the steering is, rack. Is my is my car safe to drive, or um, is it just old? <laughs> if if they put a sticker on it, you're good because they will have checked they, all that stuff. They put a sticker on it. Actually, hey, hey car people, you know what? That's me. that's that's getting added as a quote. <laughs> Hold on a second here. <laughs> that should be yeah. Yeah, they get added as. I a think quote. I'm gonna. That's number twenty nine. I'm gonna, if gonna mark it down. I think I'm gonna have to add that to my quotes as well. Yours is, is so yours a Jeep, uh, a Jeep Liberty? What what kind of Jeep? I have, have a 2012 Jeep Compass. Compass. It is a Compass. Yeah. I'm slowly de soccer momming it as time goes on. <laughs> um, you know, it's it's old enough to wear the point that you have. You get rubber bushings that are basically every um, oh. every pivot point, and they just get old. Reaper, what's going on, so, dude? It's it's the bushings. I would ah. imagine that it's the bushings. I could do that myself, even probably. Uh, not really. So here's the thing about the bushings. Usually they are uh, the rubber bushings fit inside of a uh, not there yet. Gamer says mileage. Spent a lot of winters on salted road. Yes. Yes. That'd be, yep, my mileage is 158,000. Yeah, so definitely. Because I least. do conventions and I decided to date someone 45 minutes away from me. <laughs> like, there's a lot of factors. Yeah. Um, so, what happens is you've got bushings that are actually in rubber, or uh, the, the rubber bushings are typically in metal sleeves, and the metal sleeve is actually pressed into the housing and then that allows that particular thing that it is pressed into to pivot on. Um, if the bushings are worn oh. out, if the bushings are cracked and, and the rubber is kind of busted up a little bit, you're definitely going to have some noise. Are you guys just... Uh... Oh. Sorry, I'm asking the, the two others, uh, Loader and King Supreme. Are you guys assisting Storm? Oh, I'm, I'm doing this solo. I've got the trailer. Yeah, Musk, I... Um... I, there's certain things in in cars that I keep thinking that oh I can do that myself and then I'll I'll get it up on the jack it'll be a Saturday and I'm like I can do this I can bang this out in a day yeah and then I'll get it up there and I'll look under it and I'll be like I don't know what the heck I'm looking at like um, I'll look I'll look I'll, I'll be like what I thought I knew every time I get under right. that damn car I'm like I thought I knew what I was looking at and what I could do 
So basically what I'm capable of doing is replacing fluids. Yeah, and oil change, changing tires. basic maintenance, um, bolting another tire in place. Yeah, Musk says bushings are harder than you think. Uh, with that mileage, don't bother with all oh my your God, yeah, Reaper. Stock, stock replacements, yeah. But, um, so thank you everyone for your input. I appreciate that very much. I just, uh, I've been having the question in my mind uh, ever since the creaking started. Yeah, I put a little bit of steering fluid in because it was a, it was like lower than it should be, but it wasn't like leaking by any means. With with mileage like that, you're definitely going to have noises and and things, and you're definitely going to be chasing a lot of it. Yeah, Musk, a hundred percent. Chasing. Ooh, yeah. Uh, chasing as so, in you're gonna you're gonna keep investing money to make a thing go away, and it's not going to go away. Oh. And Agent Giggles is on his way to Chivalry 2, but he is going to keep this running in the background. Uh, Chivalry 2 played awesome. it. Not 100% super sold on it. What's the hip hop kind of happening? A, it's kind of twitchy, right? Um, it, it definitely is. There's... It definitely, definitely is. Um, oh, I, I don't know if I can say your name on Storm's. Yeah, that, that's that's Stream. that's that's certainly an interesting. Uh, <laughs> that is a very interesting name right there, my friend. Um, that's 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 like absolute luck and flutely. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like her name. Yeah, it's similar to her name. You're just gonna. Oh my yeah, God. Exactly. Not there yet. Gamer says you're just gonna find something else that needs to be replaced. Yeah, basically, you're just gonna be chasing poison. Is essentially what it is. But I like my brain. My brain will chase the noises. Like, well, literally, I love that. I love that phrasing because that describes what it feels like. My brain is like, there's a noise. That means something's wrong. That means I'm going to go off the road suddenly and my wheel's going to go into some poor person's windshield. <laughs> oh, so you, you start like supreme doom and gloom is, is what you end up doing. Well, yeah, I just actually, don't want to be, I don't want to be a statistic. <laughs> Musk is 100%. Musk is 100% correct on this one. That's when you turn up the tunes. I do. I do a, <laughs> I do sort of drown it out with the tunes. And oh, I, I've learned to have to trust my mechanic because I was starting to annoy my mechanic. I was like, I hear a thing. And he's like, it's fine. I'm like, my I lion. still hear the thing. Yep. And my mechanic was like, it is fine. I'm like, but I still hear it. <laughs> Dude, if we if we went for a ride in if we went for a ride in my Jeep, you would probably think that we're gonna die, but it's all normal operating sounds. Oh wait, would this be like a commercial for Jeep? Like it's a Jeep thing. <laughs> See, that that's that's kind of the thing too that I also worry about because I come from the land of General Motors and Chevrolet. And yes, Mountain Lion, we most certainly did say SnowRunner. We are here for you, know. my dude. I hope you're doing good. I don't good. think we've said SnowRunner yet. Um, it was implied. We're, it, it was, we're it was implied. Um, is, is the playing SnowRunner the implied? <laughs> uh, we're we're SnowRunnering. I think that's Snow. that's the. <laughs> we're snur we're snurring. There's lots of snur snur going on in here. JK Gamer, this reminds me of Car Talk. The the one that was on the radio. Uh, Yes, please describe the the sound. What what the hell were those two dudes named? They were two old guys. They actually retired. And ladies, <laughs> ladies and was... gentlemen, you can watch us both with MultiStorm. Oh, it's true. Yeah, it's definitely true. The the sorry, comment Go at ahead. the very top there will allow you to watch the both of us. Uh, as why we... isn't it letting me pin the comment? Uh, good question. Uh oh. Uh oh. Still Mountain lion has that. activated. I like to move it, move it. I the like butt. to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. I like to move it, move it. I need God to figure it. out is, what is this sound Kenworth clip. Is this just a, uh, a utility monster truck? Mm, maybe. I, I need to figure out which sound clip, whether it's the move it, move it, or the Mortal Kombat, or the Sandstorm, that causes YouTube to flag my videos. I'm not sure which one it is yet. So there's a there's a trick around that. Um, Storm, you gotta switch your audio track to track two and your VOD track to track one. And then your YouTube videos just won't have the sound from those alerts. Hmm. 
interesting. I have no idea how to do that. <laughs> I I can run you through it sometime. Uh, All right. Not not the, now is not the time, but yeah. All right, we're gonna. It's, oh. it's, it's how I play whatever music I want without worrying oh, about that. Oh, okay. And we're gonna push yeah. King Supreme up the mountain here because he apparently does not have chain tires on the back of his ANK MK38. Is, is King Supreme um, getting the service trailer? I have the service trailer. Uh, okay. He is in front of me. I have chain tires, so therefore I am able to power up this incline. And uh, wow. he is not. Also, another small announcement. Yes. Um, we're at 955 followers. So oh, yeah. At 1,000 followers on the Space Viking 42 channel, um, we will be doing a community stream in celebration of 1K. What, what we will be doing is uh, multiple giveaways, uh, community games, um, a draw-along style stream where you tell me what to draw or oh, everybody be, draws with me that's gonna be fun i will have suggestions my friend oh yeah Boom! the gateway has been open i'm on my way <laughs> actually maybe i shouldn't even be on my way we can go we could potentially just go to the yukon now um well let's open the next garage yes let's do that didn't have to twist my arm. Yeah. So if Space Viking hits 1,000 follows, that's all the cool stuff that happens. Hell yeah. It's going to be a 12-hour stream where lots of fun community-based stuff is happening. Actually, I have, oh, I know. A, I have a bunch of uh, game keys from Humble Bundle that I plan to give out to, to people as well. So some free games included as well. I've, I've thought smat, about doing that, and then I just I completely get sidetracked. <laughs> a smattering of games. They're really odd. Like, most of them are, are games that people might not even want, but they're free, so. <laughs> uh, we need three medium logs to repair this uh, here. Do we need them from this map? Um, I don't know where they actually come from. Well, I'm almost there. Uh, it is, in fact, three medium. I keep forgetting and to get the uh, the better version of this song. Which, uh, what, what song would that be? Money for Nothing. Ooh. I like when that I shows up on the movie UHF with Weird Al Yankovic. His version is great. Um, there's another version where they just don't say that F word, which is what I prefer. Yeah. Oop. Yeah. Oh, another another map. New new exploration. Of oh work. yeah. There we go. There we go. Thank you so much for opening this up. There's two log trailers on Cosmodrome. Okay. Um. I'm gonna push you. I'm gonna push you. I'm coming in hot. Yeah, this this gets repaired if we have three medium logs. Oh, there we go. There we go. The Kenworth a, somehow got stuck in here. Oh, it did. Yeah, because it's it's like jammed <laughs> in though. See, that's that's the thing. That is that is one of the worst mud crossings like ever. Mm -hmm. How are you going so fast? <laughs> Who me? Yeah. This thing is dumb fast. I have oh chain goodness. tires. I don't even have a King, highway gearbox. I've just got King the. King Supreme. Uh, I saw you. I saw you drift in there. This is Tokyo. Yeah. This is a mer drift. King, King <laughs> Supreme is is drifting all over the place. He's got. Uh, he's doing it so skilled, though. Oh, he just hit a pole. Never mind. <laughs> it's very. It's still very skilled, though. Oh, you know what we could do? You know what we could do? King Supreme, come with me. Oh, I'll let you turn around. Sorry. Do I, you I was go, trying to turn you around. 
Oh, the dev should have made it only... Yeah, one short log would have been one thing, but it takes three medium logs to fix that. And it's kind of silly. Um, I have a question for you. Do you want to go on a grand adventure? Um... My truck's just not very fast, King Supreme, so you might right. end up passing me anyway. We could go in State of K No, no, no. We're gonna. We're talking about a snow runner adventure. A snow adventure. Yeah. Where did you go, Storm? Um, the garage. <laughs> oh, you went into the. Oh, you went into the garage. Yes, I did. Did you open um, it? Why? Yes, as a matter of fact, I did. Hey, what does the rock slide take? Rock slide is going to take oh, sorry, one loader. Beam over by the town circle. Okay, so would you like to go on quite the adventure? Oh, I um, just to, tell me if it's going to fill our our stream. Uh, will um, it be like our? It's not going to be the entire stream. I don't think it'll be Oof. like if if there's a bunch of us. Uh, you're definitely going to need chain tires. And right. we may need extra fuel, and we may all... need um, repair points and tires and things like that. I'm trying I to find. I think the... all of us should go on this adventure. We should. I think that'd be so cool. So we got the Kenworth nine nine six three tires, all terrain, and then all it has is mud. So okay. that's a no on the chain. But what are okay. the nine the nine six three tires? Like those look specialized. Those are is that, is that like they're they're like turf tires. Oh. So. Pinky, stay in your bed. This is going to be an adventure for a new vehicle. Oh. Yeah. I would like I like new things. Oh yeah. <laughs> so what truck should I bring? I, let's see what I got. You tried to anyway. stop in style so... and ended up flipping. <laughs> oh no. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> Oh, King Supreme. Dude, I'm glad that it has worked out for you this time. Where's the MH9500? Uh, the MH9500 is right here. But oh, the thing about it is, truck. this truck, uh, we're not equipped. I want I want something that's a little, that's a little smaller, that's a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm thinking the Tuz Warthog. All right, we're going to let chat decide. Oh, but we're not going to, we're not going to tell him what it is, though. Daniel's Off-Road Gaming. Chat, which truck am I buying to use for this mission? It, it make it an off-road truck, I'm, not a scout. That's I'm asking, yeah, not a not a scout. And I'm in we're in Russia, so I can I can buy the like the collab, for instance. Oh, yeah. Like I can buy yeah. The the collabs and stuff are gonna be too big for this and you can't put chain tires on a collab. Uh um, yeah. the bandit, ooh. Actually, I like that idea. Put some chain. T see if you can put the chain tires on the bandit. The KRS bandit. I have it already. Yeah. But I think it's. I don't know where it is. <laughs> uh, you could buy another one. I'll just buy another one. Yeah, and then just Start sell it over. Back I'm not going to be playing Minecraft. Sorry. <laughs> Someone just invited me to play Minecraft. <laughs> Purchase and deploy. Heck yeah. All right. Um, I want the best engine ever. Hold on. The TA240. Why not? Sure. You really only have one truck. Uh, King Supreme, let me hook you up with the truck. I will. Uh, I take the 566A because of all uh, because of the dull rears, dual rears. Um, you got chain but you tires. wouldn't do the crocodile. What am I putting on the frame? Do you want me I... to be the service and fuel? So we could we could do that. We could split one as fuel, and we could split the other as. Um, well, I was gonna do the maintenance frame add-on. Which truck are you using? The Bandit. The band. The Bandit. Okay. Yeah. And I'll be our our maintenance and fuel. Sideboard has sixty. That? Okay, so that has maintenance and fuel. So that does fifteen hundred liters of fuel. 
Do you want me to make sure and check? I believe so. Let me um, double check. Tell you what, King Supreme, you can use you can use this little guy right here. The, so the crocodile. this thing has um fourteen hundred fuel. Okay, which is awesome. That is going to be perfect. Uh, we are going to use. So I could use. Well, the five six six actually is not a bad thing. Um, that's true. True. This has so many options for rims. <laughs> and it does, doesn't it? That that is the fire tank. That's the. Cool. I'm gonna go with the maintenance frame add-on on this one. So King uh, King Supreme, you can jump in the crocodile. I'm going to swap out custom Zix tires. We want pain tires all the way around. All right. So we are customizing the bandit a bit right. before our little adventure. Loader is apparently um, grabbing a whole bunch of loader. stuff. Loader's ready to go. <laughs> Well, I don't think Loader is actually. Hold on a sec, uh, King Supreme. We're gonna we're we're all gonna convoy over there. Yeah, that's the. We're gonna make it even. This is gonna be epic. <laughs> yeah, I think Loader has decided to go off on his own path. Um, iron within, iron without. Yeah. <laughs> There's You're the sticker. You're in the garage. I'm gonna be out soon. King Supreme, is that uh, is that truck gonna work for you? That's the crocodile oh, DLC pack. Um, Onward, loader, loader <laughs> wherever you are, would you like to join us? We are going to convoy, and we're going to convoy to a new vehicle. We're not gonna say what it is, but we're gonna go there, and we're gonna go as a group effort, and we're gonna use a whole bunch of smaller off-road trucks to get this done. I'm still, I'm still not going very fast. Oh, the handbrake's on. All right. <laughs> Guys, skilled, skills. Uh, so just make sure, King Supreme, that you have chain tires on that thing. So you've got, you've got fuel and repair points. I've got a lot more repair points. So I've got... I've got two repair, t uh, two spare tires, and 500 repair point. This thing. Nice. And let's see. Loader has gone back to the garage. Let's see what Loader comes up with for a. Uh, you could, uh, can you put the roof rack on with the maintenance body? Yeah, you can actually have a, if, if you go to the, um, the other stuff, you oh, can put I a can? roof rack on that thing, yeah. Oh, all right, I'm gonna do that. Oh, uh, it looks like Loader has the Yar. Yar 87. Nice. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna line up. So if you go into, I'll, I'll like, you start to customize again. stuff, you should be able yeah. to put the, uh, to put the roof rack on. Loader, that's an awesome choice. So you've got a scout vehicle. I... I've got a small off-road with a single rear axle. Oh, it's miscellaneous. Yeah. Yeah, so there's more stuff oh, that you could actually wait. put on that. No, there is not a roof rack. Oh, um, actually, if you go back, uh, click one more over to the left, I think it is. Oh, there and it you is. you go down to there frame add-ons. Yeah, it should be uh, there. Trunk, repairs, trunk repair supplies. Yes, that's, that's what it. it is. That's what it is. Yep. Beautiful. And that'll actually okay, allow think... you to you already said your favorite help. scout. Okay. Alright, loader, no problem. Alright. Onward. Alright, so you guys are out. You guys are coming. We're gonna have to we are gonna at some point in time gonna have to take like a uh, group picture of everything. Oh yeah. Alright. So I think I'm following you, Storm. If I am correct, we kind of kind of go this way. Do we need a crane? Uh, we don't need. We shouldn't need a crane, no. Okay. 
All right, I'll take up the rear because I have all the service stuff. I couldn't swing the corner, so I went way too wide. Whoops. Here we go. Yeah, this is this is going to be an awesome little adventure right here. What would actually be funnier is if we all jumped in the first person view. <laughs> it would have been just a nightmare. I'm thinking I'm thinking that A and K is going to definitely run out of fuel. Well, that's why I got some. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I think you have you guys are way far back there. Am I causing you trouble, loader? All right, here we go. I think that on? Yar oh. may not have been the best of ideas. King Supreme, I think they're just a little ways back there. Um, I think if you were loader, pulling let him, me get in front of you. Yeah, I, I think if you were pulling him as opposed to pushing him. Yeah. And we'll we'll winch to each other. There's a there's definitely a point like right where I'm at right now where the road cambers hard to one side. Just make sure you don't slide down into the trees and the underbrush. All right, load. So, There's so many winch here. Uh oh. There we go. All right, I'm winched on the loader now. All right. Help us motor along a little bit here. Marine, what's going on, dude? How are you this evening? I hope you're doing all right. We're in a we're in a convoy right now, and uh, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be kind of cool. We have a we have a location in mind. And this has been so long since I have driven any of these roads that oh, heck. Um, this isn't a road. This oh, yeah, is the is. pass that they. This was the pass that they were on right before I, going into the uh, into the mines of Moria. This is the snow pass that, <laughs> with maybe. all the wind. And <laughs> this is I like, just took a uh, a major shot to the uh, to the suspension. Oh, no. What happened? Where'd you go, King Supreme? Whoa, King Supreme, why are you all the way down there? Oh, you rolled. I don't think we can recover you down there, my friend. Um, Where did he roll? He rolled off the I can try to recover side. him. I have the high-powered medium winch, so maybe. Oh, um, he... Loader, just winch to me if you get stuck again. He'll switch. Uh, he pulled a Gandalf and just fell off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have an idea. We got to yeah, go a little bit of further birds. up. And see. Because it's, it's spots like this that we are definitely going to have to use multiple trucks in case we get in the snow drifts. Oh, heck. You do. Oh. Nothing. That's what you did. 
I am only a little bit tipped, so I might be able to get out. Hold on. Oh, now I'm really tipped. <laughs> Fly, you fools. R.I.P. Man. Yeah, so uh, King Supreme, I guess, uh, be waiting up top here. Try to... Oh, you're you're up against a rock too. Oh, all right, there you go. There we go. And there's a there's a rock underneath of you. I know. I'm trying to. Gandalf the Gray becomes Gandalf the White, and he just had to die to do it. I mean, who would have thought? Does that mean that if I die, I become Space Viking the White? Um, yeah, I guess your your color palette changes. Yeah. Right. I fell I'm... over again. You did. <laughs> I did. So. Try to get this tower up here. Sorry, loader. I didn't mean to undo that. Hmm. Almost there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. N knee deep. Oh, we are. We are. How far hmm. is King Supreme? Oh yeah, you're you're almost King Supreme has almost caught right back up to us again. <laughs> That's okay. the best part. So I think okay. Alright. So we go up here to this T junction oh and we take a right hand turn. Back on all four. Okay. Eight. Got fresh bagels. Thank you. Thank store. you, loader. Ooh. Fresh bagels are the best bagels. Oh, I love fresh bagels. Uh, King Supreme. Yep. Almost caught back up. Oh, look at that moon. That moon looks Where crazy. Where do we go? Uh, we turn to the, the right at the T junction. Okay. Uh, let's make sure. All right, King Supreme is almost right there with us, so let's let's just wait a second. Okay. I might as well refuel. I can see him. Actually, which truck are you using? Are you using the? Uh... Oh, are you using the crocodile? Nice. That's you a want wings truck. all of a sudden? Crocodile? What? There we go. Perfect. Here I'm using a, a big truck. It's it's actually that truck is a lot lighter and smaller than you would think. I think the thing that actually kind of hampers your performance a little bit is the rear overhang of the maintenance body. Oh, I see. It's got a lot of sway to it. Yeah, it, it, it's got a lot of chassis flex. Down this hill into the ice? Uh, I believe. Yeah. Tomb Raider Matt, thank you so much for the follow. I'm also named Matt, but I haven't raided tombs in a while. So, think. Trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. 
Yeah, we can we can keep following that road that goes to the left there. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you want to stay to the left. Uh, loader has since rolled. Yes. I'm to <laughs> Leave at peaks. least one off the ice for rescue. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And if you if you stay to the edge, what's gonna happen? Loader, you don't have an autonomous winch? Nope. Oh crap, 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 crap. Damn it. Oop. Loader, why do you have a scout vehicle with no autonomous winch? That's what I wanna know. Uh, yeah. Mm hmm. So, if you were to actually attach to the midpoint to the side of my truck. I don't think I can do that. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Try. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm holding. Oh. You had it? Uh, no, actually, my, my truck was able to start. Oh. But I am most assuredly merged, or I'm, I'm stuck on something. I gotta get out of the way before loader can actually prep, 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 prep. Oh, you were? To stay to the left? Yeah, you want to hug the left over here. I'm just getting stuck. Oh, the left. I'm on the right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's because this is all breakable ice. Shenanigans, follies, mayhem. Yeah. It is. Yeah, we went uh, a little bit too far out to the middle. All right, use me. to uh make my way over the side here and if we if we break enough of this ice we may actually end up having uh like a path carved out for us Is somebody is somebody off of me okay so there we go i am wedged on a rock and i'm trying to pull um all right loader i think i got you definitely oh, interesting Tomb Raider, oh, Matt, you're also playing snowrunner awesome so we are playing with storm of iron if you wish to watch us both uh tomb raider matt the there we go here. Multi-storm. All right, so now I gotta stay on the left. Okay, perfect. I think I got that. So, if you guys can turn around where you are, um, we might I, need to go a different way. I am. I am at a point where you can winch off of me. Oh, I see. So I'm just going to plow into the ice like a madman. Yeah, so if you if you guys turn around and actually travel through the channel that uh that I've kind of cut out. Yeah, it might actually allow you to get through. Okay. This is the easiest I've ever reached the other side. I'm not going to lie. And I've got a pretty long winch, so 
if you get close enough. I'm like, my nose keeps like, getting stuck on the ice here. All right, King, King Supreme's already oh. actually almost have made it around to the other okay. side. Yeah, but if you get if you get close enough to me, you just need to go a little bit further. There should be stuff on the side that you can actually get to to winch yourself to. And remember, you can also attach to the back of your truck and winch to something that's ahead of you. Oh, thank you for that tip. Oh, uh, it, it helps. It actually pushes your truck instead of trying to pull it. And it's amazing how much better it does. Oh, heck. Oh, man. Right? Is that is that a real life thing, too? Um, it, physics, man. Physics. All right, you've got you've got just a little bit more, again. a little bit more. Or if I can actually. Right up. Waiting up. When, when did you get across there, dude? I might need you to winch me. There we go. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. I'm coming. All right. Uh, it's actually, just I actually got the nose quick. on this thing. Yeah, take my fuel. Okay. Oh, oops. I filled up the wrong one. Oops. Uh, you need to refuel me. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. I've never actually used that. Oh no! We just had a lag spike for me refueling you. Oh, we're good. We're good. We are? Yeah. Gotta wait for my game to catch up then, I guess. Oh. Nope, oh, there it goes. Oh no! Uh oh. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> In SnowRunner. Oh my goodness. That was unfortunate because that was going awesome. That was going so awesome. Apparently the snow runner god said no. That was that was unfortunate because we were really making some awesome progress through that. That was really fun. That was really really fun. Drat. <laughs> oh, that was great. And drive around the rock slide by the garage. Yeah, we can do that too. But this was the adventurous path, my friend. This was the let's all convoy up there path. <laughs> I always hugged that left hand side because there was always just enough that you could winch to and pull yourself and then winch to. And you just have to get close enough so you can get the uh, the main tree that's like right there. All right, do Saber you have? Was just like you can't have fun. Yeah, I know, right? Do you have a code for us, my friend? I do. One moment. See if it lets you guys join. All right, let's see what it does. The right side, there is a rock you turn left at and go straight up the pass. Well, we were doing it the hard way, my friend. The hard way, the adventurous way. So if you guys get in here, um... How am I going to meet you guys now? Are you guys going to come a different way? Basically, I think we just have to follow the path right on over again.
Saber said no. <laughs> it was. That's too much progress too fast in this region. I know it really... We really made some actual decent progress in that. So... I don't know. Uh, connection lost. Maybe yeah, we'll legendary gamer. Post. Everyone's game crashed. All right. Except for Tell mine. you what, I'm going to. I'm gonna try resetting my game oh, and loaders see here. if it'll. Ooh, damn it! I'm gonna see if loader this is made gonna... it in. I'm gonna reset my game and I'm gonna see if it's gonna if it's gonna allow me in. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I, I think it's plenty fine. Um, <laughs> This hill's pretty brutal. Oh, it's cool, right? It is. With a bandit, with a with a maintenance trailer. You want to stream Payday when it comes out? Uh, potentially. See, I oh, yeah, see. So I wouldn't mind that multiplayer glitch so much if it weren't for... um. Saber not accounting for it. Like, at least let you come back into the truck you were in where you were. Yeah. <clears throat> like, I don't care if it kicks you as long as it has a way to save your position. Is the mission we're doing at the top here? The top of this hill? No. No, that's just kind of part way on the way. The Meteo Point. You may have mentioned that, Ori. You may have mentioned that. I've never actually played not, a payday game. Have you ever played a payday game? Deep. Payday? I haven't played a payday game. I own it. I've I've never played one. Ori was talking about yeah. uh, apparently payday three is coming out soon. Yeah. Listen, legendary. It is embarrassing. So they're pumping out content left and right, but they're not fixing their coding. See, they would have to take a season off, I think, to go through all their code and figure out what's doing this, because it is deep. It's probably after all these updates that they've been having with new trucks, new areas, new um, terrain, new mechanics. Yeah. The I don't coding think that's causing this issue is like, it's got to be so deep in yeah. there. It's not going to let me join your game. Oh. Well, at least this bandit can stay where it is. True. Very true. I guess we're going to restart the whole thing. So this yeah. bandit will stay on top of the hill here. All right. So um, we stop engine. I will I will reset my game one more time. Yeah. Do I need to exit the game entirely or just go to the main menu? I think you have to close it out and then restart it, unfortunately. That's the only way that I've found. That is wild. What? Wild. What the hell? Yeah. It's, uh, Payday right. 2 is, on like update 230, it's 90% off on stream. So, King Supreme, what we're going to do oh, this is perfect we this restart. So, Space Viking is restarting his game. He's the host. And we are all restarting our games. So, then we're going to jump in. Mm hmm. One broke the power port, and it wasn't me because it was in my armored backpack in my corner. And I came back to it to use it, and it was destroyed, and nobody will cop. Ah, oh, dude, that's awful. Payday also has the best soundtrack um, in video game history. Um, rock and roll racing would like to have a word with you. So, legend, legendary gamer says, according to the wiki. The original dev, a Russian guy, put a time bomb in the code. Quotation, time bomb. So something that breaks the code because he was upset about the merge. The merge of companies, I guess? Huh. I can't imagine that's something they would have allowed to leave in there. Checking permissions. Do you have permission? 
We'll find out. <laughs> oh, we most <laughs> assuredly is going to find out. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. What? What? I said, what, what? I said, what, what? I mean, you could. That That's that's fine. Yeah, well, we will. We will. Uh, don't worry about it, King Supreme. It's all good. But yeah, I've honestly, I've never played a Payday game, and I've never really I'm, had any kind of super no, motivation to do it. Away from me. Yes, Legendary Gamer. I kind of believe it, too. Um, Storm, your your avatars aren't on the bottom of your screen. They're kind of floating. Oh, you know what? I might have goofed that up when I kind of bumped something. That's an easy fix, my guy. The code is... Viking forgets about the code 24. Um... Oh, it merged. Okay, I see. There's the code, gentlemen. Man, the bandit was expensive. Where's my other bandit? It's probably back in Michigan. <laughs> All right, let's connect. With my, with, with, with oh, my no. luck, it's probably back in Michigan. Come on with this. The Azov 64131. Is that one good? That didn't work. The 64131 is an awesome truck. 73210 is also fantastic. Up, down, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, left, right, right. A, B, A, B, oh, there start. We go. Um, the, the game, the multiplayer crashed. The game actually crashed. What's now the Dawn 71? All right. I think my, my avatar is back yeah my avatars are back okay my av my avatars so unfortunately my uh stream avatars the display window has to be at a certain size and if i go to click the x button to shut it off and i accidentally drag the size of the window even a little bit it completely throws oh. off the stream avatars because i, I have see. to do a window capture so the perfect car in SnowRunner does exist, after all. This? Yeah, the Dawn. All right. This little so. Dawn, 4x4, four four, is so perfect that it can fit under this trailer. <laughs> all right, so that's that. Did you did you restart your game, King Supreme? <laughs> oh, just dragging it around. Put some All chain right. tires on this and see how far I can get with you guys. Uh, it's not gonna go very far, but that's okay. All right, so we go down here. Well, I, I have the I have the bandit up there, so I'm just gonna see. And I think we go take two. Yes, Daniel's off road gaming. Take two, indeed. Take two. All right. So, mighty more from Power Rangers time, perhaps. All right. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. When you watch Calliope, there's a whole world to explore. All right. So is does Loader have the crocodile now? Dude, I don't even yeah, know. Loader, Loader's got the crocodile. So you're gonna use you're gonna continue using the bandit. Well, the bandit's up there already. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so... so you can just use the dawn until it just kind of does its thing. Yeah, until it dawns on me that we have to 
of abandonment. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, that's fantastic. <laughs> All right. I actually do love it's this, a though. Again. Oh, my God, the spare wheel's kind of loose in the back. Yeah. What happened here? Where? Who flipped? Did what? Who flipped here? I don't know. Who flipped where? Oh, King Supreme. I got you. I got you, King. I'll I'll get oh, you boy. back over. I know I can do it. I know I can. I believe did, in me. Did, did you fully <laughs> equip that with the largest uh, suspension lift that you can? I did, and okay. big big chain tires. Yeah. So I believe that's a that's a lot of Eva. I'm a lot of Eva. I mean, you very well could be. Nobody's arguing that point. <laughs> so, speaking of, who are you going to be there with on Saturday? Aha! The little engine that could. Where? Who am I going to be with? Just me, man. Well, I I thought, uh, are you are you traveling with uh, with your friends again? Well, we're gonna be doing a convoy. Oh, uh, okay, okay. But yeah, it's gonna be uh, oh, Lundberg Graphics Lundberg. and his wife uh, and their daughter, and then there's we're gonna have some friends there already. Jack Holder. Um, we're gonna have uh, Amanda Call, who actually Amanda Call did the portraits of CP and I for for the new Rise in Mind. Oh, okay. Um, logo. That's awesome. That is awesome. This car is so little. It's tiny. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? One of you guys just needs to pick me up and put me in a truck bed. <laughs> Actually, if we if we raised up that Dawn 71 and put it on my roof, I could actually pack the cargo and it would stay there. You could pack me? Yeah. All hail, Ice Slay Ducks. So you have to ask a local to come and pull you back to the garage with a team of horses. <laughs> so it appears that the Yar is back out again, the little Don 71, the Lada Neva. And yeah, we're, we're in for we're in for a party. The convoy convoy of fun, so to speak. I can't help the R this time. So, I believe this time I actually am obligated to purchase some artwork from uh, one Mr. Lundberg. You because, probably should. Well, he had um, he had browbeat me the last time. Oh, uh, he did. Well, not the last time, but the, well, when I first had met you. So basically, because I purchased art from you, it was automatically assumed that I should be purchasing art from him as well. But I already oh. spent kind of my allotment of cash um, with Patrick Davis and you and a couple of other things. And I was like, but I've got nothing more. And I, I wanted to get uh, uh, coffee from uh, Johnny C. So <laughs> Hold on. I'm in, I'm in high range. Johnny C's the man. Oh, uh, dude. So funny story. I actually was a year or two ahead. Nate, what is going on? Uh, a rubber duck, you say? Mwah. Well, it's funny because I have never actually had a rubber duck. Nate, thank you very much for that follow. I greatly appreciate it. We're here with Space Viking. We're playing a runner. And we're in Amor. We are in Cosmodrome. We are convoying. And it's just a conga line Dawn of tomfoolery. So... Don Bon Jovi. Don Bon Jovi? Oh. You're done gonna believe it. Don't, don't you quit on me. I'm not quitting. I'm letting you go ahead so that oh, I okay. can see you. Because <laughs> I, I, I ran out of winch points. Oh, all right. All right. I need someone to winch to. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be good. Winch off of the back of the crocodile. You can do it! Okay. <laughs> Daniel's Off-Road Gaming, yes. 100% that, yes. So I, I do believe that I need to purchase artwork from uh, Mr. Lundberg upon arrival on... So here's the thing, though. I have to work until 2. 
the convention only goes till five. So I need to blast home, change work clothes, and then make my way up there, probably to catch the tail end of everything. Which is all I right. Mentioned. Thank you. Because I I believe you had mentioned uh, you guys hang out afterwards, go grab food or something like that. Yeah, I'd love gonna, it if you came. If, if you go and, and you would like additional <coughs> company, I will definitely, definitely journey with. Oh, you will get along with our crew for sure. Hey, man, we get along great, so. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Like they're all all a bunch of creatives, all a bunch of artists. Um, a couple of them stream. Change clothes in the car like a man. The whole... I'm just gonna change my T-shirt. That's all I'm gonna do. So maybe I'll bring my I'll bring a I'll bring a different T-shirt or something. I don't call. know. Actually, I could do my typical uh, my typical convention going attire, which is my same flannel that I wear on Foley Flannel Fours of Fridays. <laughs> the sleeveless one. Oh, the flannel. <laughs> yes. It's funny because apparently I'm told I'm I'm very easy to pick out of a crowd. Who would have like, thought? That's, that's Storm of Iron. <laughs> that's that's Foley Flannel Fours of Fridays guy. So it's... That's, it's, that's the guy. <laughs> it's funny because I was at the car show two weekends ago and one of the one of the dudes who actually um, is on the Camaro Club, the one of the ones who puts it together and everything like that, he actually came up behind me, me on the shoulder, and goes, "Now I'm not the now I'm not the tallest guy here anymore. You're easy to find." And I was like, "Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much." And Godmaster Flex actually found me before I found him. left here. Yeah, so he found me before I found him. Because apparently I stick out like a sore thumb. Yo. Are you being are you being winched along? <laughs> I am. <laughs> I, I couldn't take the corner. This thing is apparently very this bad is, at taking corner, so this is the most this is the cutest car in the whole game. Uh you have a shirt you wear to conventions. It's a get good ale dark souls shirt. That's amazing. Oh, I love that. Oh, That's I love that. That's fantastic. The only way to beat Dark Souls is to get good. Uh, the only way to beat Dark Souls is to not play Dark Souls. See, that. I used to say that. That's how. That's how you really do it. See, like I, I used to say that until Elden Ring, and then, and then Elden Ring. And I was like, oh, I understand now. Yeah, see, for me, it's a lot of the, um, it's just the combat. Um, I don't have the time to invest the learning you, the nuance of a lot of the combat. So it's just, and, and, and even For Honor, which is a game I absolutely love, and I've basically forgotten all of the movesets from For Honor. I used to oh, use the, the Viking, the, uh, the Viking Warlord was my man. I was the Highlander. Oh, I love the Highlander too. He was very difficult to use correctly because you needed like ten fingers on the buttons. You needed you needed ten feet from your opponent too. Yeah. So that you well, could do the whole the entire move set. He did have the the two stances, but you had to hold the button to lock him into the one stance, the the offensive stance where he could just basically dance around any shots the opponent would throw. The, the Highlander was amazing. I also liked the Berserker for the Viking faction. That was, I liked the Berserker as well. That was fun. But he was very difficult. I, I liked... Oh. Was the Warlord the one with the shield, right? Yeah, he had the shield. The shield, the, the, different, tactics, the different tactics that you could use. Yeah. Well, we got district um, in the, the house over here. Great. District B thirteen. Well, well, the district, Stogies are I'm rolling hard. Playing. Reading Storm I'm Space finally... Loader. Uh, we've got King Supreme with us, actually. I I finally am playing my weight class district, and I'm I'm donning 
the Don. Yeah, he's he's back there with the Don. He's he's driving the Don seventy one, like somewhere. Uh, where'd he go? Right there, <laughs> with the we Don seventy one. Lo lo Loader is just pulling me along. Yep. He's watching oh, like so a hawk. Great. He says it's so great. Okay. So, Loader, uh, we, I am we gotta go right. going to follow you because... Ouch. Oh, is it a the different way? Is it a different direction? My, well, the Dawn Seventeen is so light, it's not even breaking the ice. <laughs> there's, there's also a particular route you can take that doesn't break the ice. You, uh, guys, if, if you're not following District or you have followed district, you need to double check and make sure that you are in fact following district. Yeah, see, I, I just broke into the ice over here. Um, <laughs> Loader. <laughs> King Supreme, you, what about you? Oh, I know. I know. So I didn't actually realize that there was a path through over here i had no idea never ever ever even knew never had a clue oh you're telling me oh thank you king supreme i thought that was you i thought that was loader sorry thank you king supreme tell me please thank you thank you my car is little and needs the help oh heck oh oh whoa, whoa. Er, ah, er. okay there we go oh dude Estes Flask Ale? My god. That's cool. Get good, Jim. <laughs> but you go to PC for viewing. All right. Not uh, not there yet, Gamer. No problem, dude. Um, Storm, play this five oh, years, wow. and we will know everything. First, well, I mean, I have played it quite extensively. But... First person on this, rather. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, careful. Careful. So I think King follow, got follow to the right. Again. What's that? I think King Supreme just got kicked. Oh no, he went down the hill. Yeah. I just had a lag. It was a lag. I need a fuel. Hold on, guys. I actually am King here Supreme. with like half a tank. I need a tiny bit of fuel, King. My, it doesn't even hold much. It only holds Dude. 42. So do you, do you <laughs> see where, uh, do you see on the right hand side where it loops around? You, you go to the right and then you loop back to the left. Thank you. Because once we get up to the top of the hill, my bandit's up there. Yes. So you loop to the left or the right, you said. So where you are, take to the right and loop around. Um, holy crap. King Supreme just went barrel monkey and right across. I see the path. All right. Thank you, Fernandez. Perfect timing. Thank you very too much. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh oh. So about that, huh? Oh, look at you! You saved it. Miguel Fernandez. Oop. I'm just I'm hitting everything with my hands, and I'm just smacking stuff around. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, this rock just stopped me of all things. You are more than welcome, my friend. You should be following Nika Fernandez, Forza, SnowRunner, Zelda, Skyrim, all, the all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna flip over. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh gosh. Uh. Yeah. That. <laughs> uh. I, uh... Aha. <laughs> you guys might as well stop your engines while I figure this out. <laughs> well, I, uh, I gotta be careful because I need, I need that winch point to kind of get up here. Um... Alright, I'll let go of it. Well, no, I think I'm gonna kind of make my way... There we go. I got Look at my up. first person view. Oh my god. <laughs> do the knock knock. Did me keep going? I mean, I could. I, I, I definitely could do that. 
that that is a thing we can do <laughs> get out of the way little truck not offset <laughs> yes loader's probably already all the way up top here just kind of hanging out goofing off oh yeah he's driving in circles up here oh my god i'm stuck on uh is this loader or king supreme uh that's king supreme thank you. oh thank you uh, oh my goodness uh about yeah. that i'm just watching from over here ah uh, dude those are cool i saw those wait 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 don't don't winch me i got a plan all right did you no, wait, uh wait. did you grab the task up here Day no. point also grab the task up here we'll uh we'll we'll wait okay i'm at the top loaders at the top i just want to i want to get to the top of the hill with this dawn just out of out of spite district b13 you are correct <laughs> <laughs> Every time I know how to drive, I play SnowRunner, and then it humbles me, and I learn that I don't actually know how to drive. <laughs> I, only know, I only know how to optimize my computer uh, to have a very uh, smooth stream. That's I mean, all I know. You live, you learn. Uh, you're yeah. going. You're, you're, you're making you live, it. You live, you laugh, and you love. Oh, we have a chance of thunder showers tomorrow. Saturday for Granite State 4x4 night at Predator Trail Gear. Hey. Come on. Caustic Contagion! With the awesome name. How are you? What is going on? Uh, that is a we are cool currently... name. It is a very cool name. They just need fuel up here, apparently. Uh, tomorrow is, uh, isn't tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow we have thunderstorms. Oh, there you are. You snuck right past me. So we've got thunderstorms possibly tomorrow. There is, well, Friday night's the cruise night at the Target, so. The Target? Yeah, in Nashua. Shiny and chrome. So where right. do we go from here? We go over this way. I'm well. If you enjoy this game, my last gamer tag for Xbox, Fate's Destiny. Interesting. Very interesting. I dig That's it. That's pretty good. Do you say base destiny or Fate's face? Destiny. Fates. F A T S. Foxtrot Alpha Tango Echo. Bam. I don't know why Sam gets a bad rap, but he does. All right, so we are Woo! going down the path here. <laughs> uh, watch your tires. Wait, Storm, wait, hold on. Yes? Can we just winch me, please? Oh, bother. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, did I just do it again? No. What? Okay, it was just a different. Okay, you guys are still in. Yeah, let me go first, then knock okay. knock. <laughs> oh, oh no, no! There you go. No. Oh. It's something with the bandit refueling from the maintenance trailer or the maintenance add-on. Ah. God damn ah. it! I'm so sorry, guys. It was me. So we at least we've discovered the glitch. So that's twice in a row that it's done that it's exactly that okay it's exactly okay. that so if you go to refuel anyone else from the loader's still in though yeah loader didn't have the problem apparently season 10 is no loader is out now yeah uh yeah don't don't go don't go typing so quick there loader i'm still in <laughs> skadoosh <laughs> <laughs> right meow Alrighty, guys. I'm sorry about that. I don't know if we want to do something else. What's oh, how it's... much farther do we have to go from here? Uh, you know, a decent amount. Okay, maybe we shelve that. Uh, would you like to go to the Yukon? I'm sure. Okay. The Kenworth is fairly straightforward to get. One of the nice things about Season 10 is the fact that 
you get stuff closer to the beginning of the game instead of Ogremar, thank you very much. We're selling this truck. Yeah. Nope, you get stuff not messing with that anymore. Closer to the start of season <laughs> 10. But you can actually use it through the season. This is a perfect time to make Space Viking play State of Decay 2. All right, good call. I mean, Supreme. let's do it. <laughs> it did crash again. I, I got it installed. I do too. I've I've been playing it. Uh, I am, however, I've got this little bad boy waiting in yeah, the wings. See that? What? Ooh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, yeah. I am going to do a playthrough of this game very soon because i am like itching to play that game again it is it really ticks all the boxes just like assassin's creed valhalla did where it had this expansive whole area you could really exist in and it was incredible it was absolutely incredible atmosphere environment yeah. creatures npcs everything it's that level that of game good. That game literally changed my life. Yeah. Yep. Not even, not even like in a uh, self-help book kind of way. Like, it just was. If my life is better for having played that game, you yeah. know, it's like a simple, a very simple way to to say it. Oh, you you get a diagnosed loader, so it's tendonitis in your elbow. Deck of Mars. I am doing fantastic. How are you, my friend? What's going on? We are Hello, uh, Zach of Mars. We're we're trying to play uh some Snow Runner here, and we've discovered we have discovered that Cake Burrito DLC for Snow Runner. Awesome. Uh that is Elden Ring. I think that's Elden Ring. Yes, that's Elden Ring. That's slightly terrifying because those are giant rats. Oi, those are giant. That is a gigantic rat. My goodness. Oh, dude, you're getting slapped around by those things. Those things are horrifying. Um, yeah, which one did you get? You're on vacation. Are you going anywhere? Are you doing anything specific for giving vacation? The one game I'm afraid to admit that I may, uh, played for maybe an hour or two and Roof haven't Rex? gone back. Wait, Roof Rex give you glitches? Now, now it's just sound like conspiracy theories. All right. <laughs> if you just sit in the garage and do nothing, you won't crash. Sometimes but I if go you in turn my the living room or interact with something, you will crash. Roof racks <laughs> give you glitches. Just don't use them. What is this like? It just sounds like QAnon stuff in here. <laughs> well, we we've at least discovered that when you refuel from the maintenance trailer to somebody else, that's when the entire game crashes. So we've got that down. Oh, it broke that's hardcore, yeah. You know, we're 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 there with that. Um, so Zach of Mars, if you could go to any place your heart desires for a vacation, where would you go on vacation? Is this an open question for everybody? Yeah. If if you want to go on vacation, where is the place that you would go? Deadlifting goal. Okay. Daniel's off road gaming, thank you very much, my friend. Angel girl, I have two trucks up? in Alaska. New Zealand. Bora Bora. What are my trucks that I have in Alaska? And then, um, yeah, whatever you have for a code when you're ready. To the U.S. with your sister to do Route 66. At <laughs> the other end Ooh, of the couch. Oh, that'd be fun. Oh, man. It said I have trucks here, but I don't actually see them. Iceland. Okay. They should be at the very top left, or uh, the, the, the top of that list over there. Like, if I go to my... Oh, it says I have trucks in Alaska. Oh, they're in the garage, that's why. Yeah, okay. Wouldn't mind doing a survival trip in a desert, though. I'd like to do many survival... Dude, that's cool, man. Uh, besides Disneyland, or more Disneyland, probably Stockholm, Sweden. Tokyo. So, Caustic Contagion. Um, I needed yeah, why is it nothing? a PlayStation 
uh, PlayStation name, PlayStation, uh, you know, network name. And I looked around and I saw a book and this was a piece of Warhammer 40k fiction. It involved the Iron Warriors and their definitive novel. There's my other bandit. Was Storm of Iron. That's what I use for my PlayStation name. And now that's what I use for everything here. I have to do my homework before a survival experience in a foreign country. Good point. Point. Going back to Cal the Yukon. We do have uh, both garages open. California or Universal Disney. Never been. I've never been to either one either. If I could take an ultimate trip, it would be to go to Burning Man for a week. Okay. Ooh, Burning Man would be interesting as a visitor. I wouldn't yeah. want to really participate. Yeah, they, they've got a lot of stuff going on. Burning Man um, definitely seems to have become very commercialized. I'm gonna have to really have a really tall glass of water after this. We must dilute all the things. And when you are ready with a code, I will definitely take that. Jump on in. We need a storm reminds Viking about the code <laughs> counter. Because <laughs> I keep forgetting. I'm so sorry. All right. I need to exit game, though. Whenever it does that, I need to exit game. Okay. That way it saves that I'm in the Yukon. There are no vendors at Burning Man. Everything must be gifted. Uh, oh, that's fascinating. I don't... I thought it went very, very commercial, and there's all kinds of money that's involved in that. Oh, my God. Firewatch was added to Game Pass. That's a game you that. might enjoy. Never actually you played that. You haven't played it? No. Have you seen anything of it? I've seen stuff on it. It's it's kind of a it's definitely an interesting game. It's like where you actually just do a thing, which is like most games. Well, SnowRunner is kind of like that too, where it's just relaxing because yeah. you just have a job to do. All right. I may have to. I may have to. And that's on Game Pass. Yeah. Just so, it just got to Game Pass. Everybody's saying Payday Three is coming to Game Pass. We've got Starfield that's coming to Game Pass, which is soon, right? I am not mistaken. King Supreme. I'm good with my four viewers, sir. That's like a whole room of people. Yeah, actually it is. <laughs> I think most games you do a thing or two. <laughs> I mean, you know, in a roundabout kind of fashion, but like like a, um, you're in a game where all it is is you're doing a task. You're you're doing, um, no, just one task. Code coming in soon. All right. Bippity boppity boopity. Bippity boppity. Oh yeah. I don't even know where we were at or what we were doing the last time we this were is, at the Yukon. So Twitch, statistically, King Supreme got me on this thought process. Statistically, there are almost a billion streamers streaming to nobody. Mm -hmm. And then there's, there's several million streaming to one or two. For me to have five? Yep. For me to have six, seven, eight, or nine? is like actually incredible yes it incredibly is incredibly good 100 percent. in the if grand you, scheme if you maintain an average of 20 to 25 viewers that puts you and and this is a really messed up number uh that puts you in the top one to 1. 1.5 percent yes. of twitch uh exactly zach of mars uh you were think, thinking the same thing that i did um if you have that many you are in the top 1% of those 
millions and millions and millions of other Twitch streams that are out there. And it's incredible to think about those numbers. And I would also say that, yeah, you don't ever have to mention somebody's numbers because, you know, sometimes... Oh, I know he was just being... Um... being cheeky yeah but still i mean me personally yeah. i don't like looking at numbers uh i don't even like looking at numbers like afterwards you know here's the code I, guys i shut everything off and i just play i just play yeah i don't i i have my numbers on but that's because i'm tracking the road to 1k i forgot to shut my viewers off that's a good point. I do normally shut them off. All right, there we go. Connecting. Vast majority of streamers aren't affiliates. Uh, I like looking at the number 73 specifically. <laughs> uh, just got scared by a plushie. What? Uh, what's the one video game death that broke your heart? Uh, Lee from Telltale's... I've never played a Telltale game. Never played a Telltale game. Then with the new season on Forza... Video game and... death that broke I... my heart was... Um, who hasn't played... Who hasn't played Red Dead Redemption 2? Oh, uh, <laughs> I know exactly which one you're going for. It's actually, no, I'm... I'm... Oh, actually, you know what, it's... Space Viking... You'll like this number. So, Zack of Mars likes the number 73, specifically. And mm -hmm. that's because it is a prime number compo uh, comprised of two other prime numbers. You're, you're like a sciencey numbers kind of guy. Ah, I see. So, I am kind of a sciencey numbers guy. So, Zack of Mars must know why 42 is so fascinating. Not just because of its its significance in Hitchhiker's Guide, but also because of where um, where he got <laughs> where. But Zach of Mars might even know the like where he got forty two from, and why it was significant to the writer. There's a few it, like some of them are myths though. So let me I gotta bring it up. I gotta make sure I get the right one. Of course you do. Yep. That's yes, Zach, of, Zach of Mars is a smart one. The thing one. about the writer. Yeah. <laughs> um, Toyota Corolla Verso. Okay. Um, oh, there it is. I see an asterisk. I don't know if you're trying to send a link or... Nope. I think we are. We are. Uh, we're we trying to we're trying to get back in. I don't even know. I am loading up my game here, so okay. Still, uh, still, still going. It's like the Corolla, but the e version. Okay, okay. Something economical. Something you know, smart, intelligent, forward thinking. Yep. Kick oh, burrito follow. Kick burrito. I thought you were already followed before. Thank you so much for that follow. <laughs> It's the answer to the question. The eternal question. <laughs> the answer to universe life and everything. But there's a really cool... Um, there's a really cool story about where it came from. Still waiting to get in the game. It crashed your game too? Oh, King Supreme. So what, what he says, what the writer says, Adam. Douglas Adams. Says it was a joke. It had to be a number, an ordinary smallish number, and I chose that one. Binary representations, base 13, Tibetan monks are all complete nonsense. <laughs> I sat at my desk, I stared into the garden and thought, 42 will do. I typed it out, end of story. <laughs> yeah, but. I'm picking up what you're putting down. After, after the book came out, it actually became, a, it actually is a mathematically significant number. So they put the answer out before the question and then solved yes. X, essentially, is what yeah, you're saying. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, like, he did kind of choose it arbitrarily, but the, it actually does. 
in in physics it does equal the answer to the universe life and everything which is i can't even explain it in in a in a quick way because i want to get back into the game i'm more partial but to it's pie. fantastic i'm more partial to like pie pie is delicious key link uh key, key lime pie key lime pie key lime key lime pie not 3.16 no no man <laughs> Asterisk is 42, which is oh, why yep. I wrote Asterisk oh, okay. is 42. Yep. 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 Dinner was fresh so homemade have... biscuits. Ooh, sausage gravy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. means whatever you like. Oh, so, we got quite a few things here. We're still loading into King Supreme. The oh, you guys haven't still loaded loading in, in yet? Yeah. We, um, are we hmm. showing on your screen? No. This is very peculiar. It is. No, I see you guys in there now. Uh, I don't see King Supreme yet. I think that's still the code. Yeah, I was just about to copy and paste that. Um, yeah, I'm still loading. Weird. Very strange. This is the longest load time Ooh. I've ever had. Loader, are you still loading? Yeah, indeed. Okay. Ouch. All right. What if we go game? Ghost Ownage. What is going on? Maybe we did crash the SnowRunner server. Well, it's it's locally hosted. That's the thing. Like you're hosting the game on your end. So. Yeah. All right. Try it one more time. How are you doing tonight, Ghost Donage? Would I go on a vacation? I would like to go to some place that I could see the northern lights. Whether that's oh. Iceland or Alaska. Alaska. I would like to go on a whale watch out of Alaska. I think Alaska is apparently cool. very accessible if you do a cruise. Yeah. It's actually not too expensive at all. I'd like to try that. Netflix, there you go. I mean, Netflix is a Ouch. great thing. I love Netflix. I have restarted my, my watch of Psych all over again, and I think it's... <laughs> Uh-oh. Invalid code. Might yeah, need another one. Um, probably, probably a different code now. It is now. Okay, let's try this again paste yeah the, the thing about about vacation see chod master flex is is sort of of my vernacular like my answer to that question if i could go anywhere like anywhere right yep the moon okay like that's my, my serious answer is like there isn't a place on earth that hasn't been filmed photographed covered in trash peopled up like capitalismed into okay. oblivion <laughs> like That's i want to go to a place where there's i want to experience pure isolation oh now it's not letting me connect other players okay yeah this is weird I'm gonna exit the game again so i want to i want to experience what pure isolation actually feels like so i would love to go to the moon So to moon or space. On a serious note, uh, Pripyat outside of Chernobyl. Oh. That'd oh. be interesting. That would be one hell of an expedition. Uh, because that's still like, uh, what, that's still in the exclusionary zone, right? Like you're still not supposed to go anywhere near Chernobyl. Anybody else watch Chernobyl on HBO or Max or whatever the hell it's called? It's Legendary Gamer. It takes an entire week to get to the moon. What do you mean an earshot? 
<laughs> well, I mean, just I'm not because you can that, see it. I'm not just. I'm not disputing that you wouldn't feel right? isolated. I feel like I feel like if you looked back and you saw, oh, home's right there. Maybe you're right that you you wouldn't really feel isolated. But on Mars, Earth is just a pale dot. Oh, um, El Dutero, uh, Duterito, uh, there were tours to Chernobyl. I've done one just before Fukushima, and there's subsequent suspension of most tours. Okay. Chernobylite is on sale. That game is all about it, and it's a survival shooter. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, it just says, yeah, that's how I, I understand, too. Yeah, I would feel somewhat close to home as well. Oh, my God. The, I just realized how big the texts from the stream avatars are on my stream avatars. <laughs> that's, that's too big. I must fix that. Well, give it, give us a code real quick first. I will. I'm, I'm loading okay. in. I'm loading in. Sorry. I've never, I've never seen you? that game. Stalker Two. Appreciate the reminders. Stalker wasn't wasn't the original Stalker set around uh, Chernobyl, if I am not mistaken. I think so. I think that's correct. I mean, All to, right, to so think about it, access. that entire you know way of life was frozen in a snapshot in an instant when people just were told, "Leave now, go." Yeah. Get. Get the hell out of Dodge. Get to the getting. There we go. Okay. Um, the HBO series is amazing. I have... Oh, interesting. I have a PlayStation 5. This is what I play this on. Oh. Uh -oh. Go to that link and watch us both at the same time, guys. So we can watch us both crash at the same time. Oh, it's been vandalized and looted. Yeah, that would make sense. All right, you're all gonna fight for my amusement now. Oh, ghost luxury, raining on in. Maybe well, it's hello. the Dawn 17. Welcome on in and thank you for the raid. Maybe the Dawn 17 is causing the... Uh... Already storm, are you ready for the invite code? Yes, I am, my friend. All righty, there it is. We got... All right, let's see if this does it. Stormsons? Do you know there's a planet called Duragar? All right, let's try this again. They've named a planet, um, Draugr. That's cool, that's cool. Really? They named a planet called Draugr. You know why? I don't is, know this why. This is a new... Free, free space facts for everybody. There's normally okay. a redemption on my channel, but free space fact. There is a a planet orbiting around a pulsar that formed from the dead remains of the previous planets that were destroyed from the pulsar forming. So it's a zombie planet. Interesting. And, they it, and that's and they why they named it the Draugr. Okay. Yeah. Not there love, yet, Gamer. I love it. Has victoriously so cool. won the Battle Royale. And uh, Ghost Luxury, thank you very much for the raid. Last scene playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And look at that. We are finally in the game. Space Vikings yes. over there. Um, let's exactly. Let's. <laughs> I'm still playing with the little car that could. Let's hope it works. Uh, King Supreme is still loading in. Okay. Right, let's find out. So this is Big Salmon Peak. What do we have in the... Fl oh, my God. Uh, flooded foothills. There is all kinds of stuff still left here in the flooded foothills to do. Oh, yeah. We kind of gave up. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Um, or I should say I gave up. Ghost Luxury. I think... I think we're full. We've been We've been having crash after crash after crash tonight. Uh, we've determined what our crashes are, but uh, we're still trying to actually get into the game here. So it's kind of a mess. So. Move to this garage. The the Dawn 17 is like a really scrappy little car. I'm. Oh, yeah. I'm rather I'm rather impressed. Like I'm I'm in the water, like all the way above the engine. And it's like, I'm good. 
let's keep going. <laughs> All right, so it looks like King Supreme is in. Okay, um, cool. I see that. Find find the thing we should do. I am on uh, conveyor good. belt section good, three. Good. Bill's house. So Bill's house is there. Store. Oh, we have to restore a C70, a Kodiak C70. But we've also got to pick up. All right, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do this one. Are right, you jumping in, Ori? Uh, State of K2. You have to restore this truck. About. going to use uh tires we need tires you want a truck all right what uh what truck would you like to use my friend all right we're gonna have to use a maintenance frame add-on Landed my lethal zone community on a fresh map day 42. Awesome. Something that can go off road. I have what everything that can go off road. I want to help you guys with whatever you're working on because I'm not sure how much more time we have on the stream. So I'm going to try to repair a Chevy Kodiak and then deliver two vehicle spare parts to Bill's house. Angel Girl, thank you very much. Welcome on back. Okay. Roof racks sink ships. Potentially. Let's see. Um, where is it? There it is. So. All right. This is what. Uh, the tasks there are. I just did that mission that you're doing now. <laughs> so King Supreme I've got this 6612H right here that you can use uh, just don't refuel anybody with that add on uh, potentially is anyone doing off the cliff <laughs> I don't think so go no. just somehow get the fisherman's car off the cliff oh that's a fun one alright we'll go over here we are going to go restore the Chevy Kodiak. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, I think I'm going to go turn our off beacons the off. I really do like these trucks. These are the ones that came with the Wolf Pack, the Western Star trucks. Uh, it's it's right outside the. It's this one right here. Right outside the garage, King Supreme. The Zik 612H. Gonna have to try to power on through. Dude, I'm excited oh, for man. Saturday. I really am. I'm so glad. No, me too. I'm uh I was a little bit a little bit anxious about it at first. Yeah. Because I just don't have a lot of product. Okay. And I use, like, I normally have way more. Um, like, Actually, I don't have any of my comics printed. Okay. Okay. Uh, I was looking at, I got an email from Moo.com. And Moo? they're doing a 30% 30, 30 off on various things. It's like a mail um, discount. So I could get. I, I have been giving away so many of my goofy little stickers that um, I realized I'm almost out of them. <laughs> I only realized today that you could put multiple accessories on at the same time. I, you know, it's actually pretty cool. Some of the trucks you can, some of the trucks you can't. Some of the trucks you can do a crane, a sideboard bed, and still tow a trailer. Some of them you can't. Going to sleep. It's 2 38 in the morning. All right, Mad Max, get some rest, dude. Take care of yourself. Uh, we will see you on the next time. Be well, Mad Max.
Be well. I didn't Knock realize I've, I've been saying be well for like a, uh, a oh, couple of years now. Gotcha. Be well. And I didn't realize that it was. Be well, John Spark. In de in de yeah, exactly. Mm hmm. I didn't know that like my brain was latching on to something from Demolition Man. Yeah. And I was car carrying it through my life. Cryptid Tales. Okay. What's going on? Trophy of my nerdiness. Uh, but you know what? Honestly, Demolition Man was a fantastic movie. Great movie. Now, was it fantastic because of its campiness, its execution? It was a movie that reveled in its zany tomfoolery, I think. Oh, it knew what it was doing. It knew who it was. It knew itself. Um, I don't think so. Do you see... Uh... So, King Supreme is where... Oh, oh, you're well, on, the, uh... um... Okay. Uh, well, no, that's Loader. Fun. I'm trying to get the fisherman's car. I don't... Oh, there you are. King Supreme, you're all the way over here. Any brackets as I could on everything? Oh, beacons. Yes. The, uh, always have beacons. Always have beacons for safety. Thank you for reminding me of the beacons, too. Uh, can't wait for Saturday, but Friday 1st? Absolutely. Um, Angel oh, yeah, Girl is so. going to... Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, Angel Girl is also going to be at uh, Plastic City Comic Con earlier that's in right. the day. So I believe she had followed your... Graham. How you doing, Heimdall? Day. Heimdall 33 Pro. Welcome in. Good to see you again. Okay. Here... I have to get a truck with a crane out this way. Beacons every time. Beacon bacon. Uh, Forza on Fridays. It is our Forza Friday indeed. Holy flannel Forza Friday, as a matter of fact. Holy flannel Forza Friday. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab Holy my flannel. I'm gonna take I'm taking my flannel with flannel. me on uh, on Saturday. I'm gonna rock the flannel. Do you have uh, other flannels than red or only red flannel? I have uh, one is like a little bit of a it has a slightly different pattern to it but primarily I'm a red and black flannel kind of fellow nice Alpha's Lancia's and new Mark oh that's right yes we have new stuff terrible as always Forza I'm sorry to hear Heimdall I need to I need to put the 73 Super Duty Trans Am into A class I'm very much looking forward to that as well I didn't. I, not, I unlocked it. I didn't do anything with it. Not for parking. Every time I go into the into the first person view and see that, <laughs> it makes me laugh. Gold horse mining. They're mining gold horses. That's the only thing that they mine. It's a horse of a different color. Of course. The horse. <laughs> uh, I missed. I missed my turn. Plastic City early, but might leave before it's over, so I might be there a little bit more than leaving. Okay, cool, awesome. Uh, by all means, I certainly hope that you stop by over at Space Viking and his setup with all of his really cool nifty artwork. Please buy my art. I need to waste money on a noise that won't go away, even if I try to fix it. Basically, that's called throwing good money at bad. Oh, I never knew the term. Oh. But also, I mean, just buy my art if you like it. I don't, I, I'm not going to actually beg. Yeah. Black and gray flannel, orange and, orange and black is a good color combo. Uh, red and black, cream and brown, hooded, blue and black, maroon and black. Yeah, purple and black and gray and black are also fantastic mm -hmm. color combinations. Yellow and black is another one. I, I like the uh, I like the vibrant colors kind of clashing against one. Uh, all right, brother Storm in space. It's been a pleasure. What you do, do what you do best, and I see it all. Seen it all. You guys have an awesome stream, and I shall catch you all on the next time. For real, district, take care of yourself, dude. We will see you the next time. Have an awesome rest of your night. And guys, everyone, please give district a follow. Even if you followed him previously, double check. It may oh. have 
forced unfollowed. District. So. Yeah. District. Um, before you go, uh, Rise in Mind is at a new spot. So oh, that's you, right. Uh, if you have enjoyed watching Rise in Mind, we have our own channel now for Rise in Mind. So yep. those of you who don't know, I have a podcast with my buddy CP Sketch where we talk about philosophy, psychology, and science called Rise in Mind. It's a Dig Dug themed podcast. It's a um, lot of fun. But the, the only thing we're digging into is sort of your brain. Yeah, pretty much. Um, let me just give you the tag here. Yeah, and District, we, we put it on the, uh, the the stream promotion links and everything like that, too. Uh, we have District's link up on the Discord. But yes, that is the Rise of okay. Mind right there. Uh, if you put all those miles on a compass, he uh, more than got every penny's worth. <laughs> <laughs> I posted a Vikings mashup video to the music channel. Okay, awesome, dude. I will definitely check that out. Um, There's a mashup video? <laughs> it's something. Uh, just remember to look for... Oh, oh yeah, uh, Angel Girl will have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles backpack. That should be fairly easy to, to see. So, there is a pair of... A uh, pair of twins. Or a set of twins. And they show up at the Comic Con, the New England Comic Cons and like Foxborough and stuff like that. They do a bunch of music videos and everything. And I uh. believe somebody sent me, BT Outlaw actually sent me um, a video. Thank you, of Sean Masterflex. Yeah, if anyone wants to follow who's interested in that podcast, please follow and get it, help get us to affiliate so we can have some. Uh, some emotes um, that are themed just for the podcast. That'd be wonderful. We actually had a couple episodes that I'm trying to figure out how to do reruns of the oh. stuff from this channel. Like, I want to figure out how to do that because you know I, I want to like. Can you can you download it then re-upload it? How does that even work? I'm, I'm I not think sure I, I know how that works. That. I think I can. I'm gonna try. Because the VODs only usually stay for a minimum number of days. Yeah. And how would you run a rerun that was like a year old or something? I think I have to be affiliate to upload though too. Oh, uh, okay. Well, technically, couldn't you just have it on YouTube and then just play it from someplace else? Or just oh yeah, play I could it just as... have it on YouTube and then play it on YouTube as a rerun. Yeah, <laughs> on uh, Twitch. Potentially, yeah. <laughs> I have I have been seriously slacking on getting my YouTube videos published. Uh, I keep exporting them from Twitch to YouTube, but then my stream is only working in the multi-stream. That's weird, Heimdall. Um, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, what were you saying? Uh, oh yeah, you refresh apparently. Yeah. But yeah, I I have been slacking horrifically about getting videos published on YouTube. Videos on YouTube don't really for me Is that a road? Uh, because they are like excessive in length. Like a it's it's a it's I export the entire stream right on over to YouTube. And right. for a YouTube video, that's a little bit on the long side. People don't want to watch that. People want or clips or half hour segments or something like that but I like it because it gives anybody who maybe missed a Forza Friday or wants to see the playthrough of a certain section of Skyrim um, and they can follow it like a guide because it's it's all organized by the game that I played Probably almost like a walkthrough yeah yeah you know, you could you could watch start to finish. I don't know. I I think my entire yeah my entire Assassin's Creed Valhalla playthrough should actually be there, start to finish. And you could actually really see the evolution of my channel through the gameplay on that. Oh. Like that's that's the game that I had started streaming directly from my console. Then I got a capture card.
I mean, I'm just glad that I finally optimized um, SnowRunner because it was running so smooth before I had my my problem with the hard drive. It's a great and that film. hard drive. Oh, that's right. Tried, um, and I had it perfect, and now it's back it's perfect again. It's a good thing. I tend to be really OCD with my like stream setups. I am very by the seat of my pants, so. Uh, every single game you've named are my favorite all times. I have the Assassin's Creed sign on my hand. Nice! Dude, that's, that's cool. awesome. That is fantastic. Caustic Contagion. Yeah, I do love that name as well. It Right? It's an awesome name. I, I think it's an absolutely fantastic name. That is a... That is a type of flu or viral infection that also burns your skin. Yeah. It's straight up Nurgle, my man. Straight up Nurgle. Yep. And I like Nurgle. Out of all the four Chaos Gods, actually Nurgle is the most fatherly-like. He's actually <laughs> the only one who cares about his followers. And he doesn't see the diseases that he spreads as diseases. He sees them as gifts. Gross. Yeah, the whole, the whole thing <laughs> about... I'm just the chaos kidding. gods are yeah, it's... they're wacky they're a wacky bunch big facts absolutely wacky bunch I think 80s sitcom um like uh 40k house fuller <laughs> 40k house or something uncle nurgle oh what, 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 <laughs> uncle nurgle not again That'd be, that that would be wacky right there. You rascally Eldar. <laughs> uh, it's more specific, though. It's a disease spread by human contact that burns or erodes biological flesh. Hachi machi. Oh, that is, specific. That is very specific and very terrifying. I like the specificity. What's the one with Dustin Hoffman? Uh, Outbreak? That was a great film Dustin, with the monkey. Dustin, they had to find a oh, specific yeah. monkey. So, yeah, it was outbreak. It was about the um, it was about the Ebola virus, I believe. Air Le Kodiak. Yeah. I really liked my favorite zombie movie of all time is Twenty Eight Days Later. Ooh, that's a great one. That's a great one. Outbreak. I like that oh, yes. one because it was very believable. Like Cuba the actual Jr. Like, as well. outbreak itself was very believable. Mad cow disease turned to mad human disease. Not actually uh -huh. zombies, just completely driven mad people. Yep. I think Sorry. that's just very believable to me. <laughs> Cuba Gooding Jr., uh, what is the movie, what is the name of the movie that Cuba Gooding Jr. was in with Paul Hogan? And Paul Hogan was like a, like an outlaw. And Cuba Gooding Jr. wanted to learn how to be an outlaw as well. But he couldn't shoot so uh he gave him he gave him a sawed off double barrel shotgun uh but wait the last of us concept is absolutely plausible though yeah yeah Actually, it is yeah. it is i love the last of us concept as well for the same reason although we we eat we actually eat that um Oh, King Spring. There's, awesome. there's lots of humans eating that specific mushroom that they use in Last of Us, the cordyceps. We actually have that included in like there's a mushroom coffee. It's in that. It's in mushroom supplements. Like our body digests it. So I wonder if it'd have to be a different mushroom. But it is still very plausible. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's that that's basically terrifying right there. Go up here. The car goes in the water. Here, we're going to get the abandoned truck. I'm going to do this one. Abandoned truck. This, this, uh, these guys want long logs. You should be I'm trying able to... to... Uh, yeah, you should definitely be able to swing the crane out there far enough. Uh, you know what? I don't ingest in any form. Oh. I have nothing to fear from that. You don't, you don't <laughs> ingest any mushrooms ever? I love a good a good shiitake mushroom. I I like portobello. Um, oh, you don't have a crane. I will, 
Oh. I will have um, the mushroom coffee and the mushroom supplements once in a while. Um, I have um, microdosed on one psychedelic type of mushroom before, and that was a, a safe amount, I should say. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not trying to promote drug use. We're actually and discussing. That was uh, what's, had, what's the kind of mushroom that you use that's like at the consistency of a uh, burger or steak? That would be. Um, I think that's still portobello. You I like just ground up. Move it. I like to move it, move it. I like uh, you to need a grain, extreme yeah, like portobello. To... Uh, I like to move it, portobello. Move it. Yeah. Microdose, never heard that term. Portobello sauteed with garlic. Oh. Ogremar. So microdose is um, referring to taking a psychedelic mushroom, um, but a, such a small amount that the effect is therapeutic instead of damaging. Um, like, we're talking like a, a between two fingers, kind of like tiny bit of a mushroom. And what I actually got from that was way more focus like a ton of focus for the duration of, I want to say six hours or so. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. But some like mushrooms have a lot of uses and I'm not, I'm by no means an expert on it, but. Well, the, the interesting thing is um, a lot of the stuff that they say is bad for you actually has a lot of valid scientific use in the medical field, like substantially. God damn it. <laughs> Mushrooms are molecularly closer to humans than plants. Yes. So and they then, will, uh, they... uh, let's see, sleep I Are you aware that. there is a fungus that attacks bugs and takes control of them and plants spores in the bug and controls it to go to the highest point and the spores are spread? Yes. Um, it basically turns the, uh, insect into effectively a zombie. Yep. So, the effect, what, what was it, Orthus? Yeah, the molecularly, molecularly closer to humans than plants. So you you can actually repair the brain. They've had a, a few studies where Alzheimer's patients were able to regain some brain function. Oh, wow. From microdosing. Go in this way. And microdose tacos for so, lunch. I macrodose tacos, okay? Yeah, I'm macro. Mostly. Keeping as PG as I can. Cryptically speaking, I have a rental agreement okay. with the state for 10 to 15 years, so I don't get much good food, anyways. Okay. Oh, I think I know what Caustic is saying. Uh, they say it. It's not able to affect a human yet. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah, because it's the it's the heat. Yeah. Like they can't survive our body heat. Uh, tacos have a tendency to evacuate my body like a supernova. There's your science, nerds. <laughs> Space facts. Jesus Christ. Space Tacos facts from Chad Master Flex. Oh, man. Those are amazing facts right there. Oh. I, keep, I keep trying to get this fisherman's truck, and I don't know which route to take to get to it. And I trying keep to, flipping over. I'm going to gonna abandon this. Um, I'm going to abandon the mission to get the uh fisherman up here there we go all right there we are there we are so here's where chain tires actually really really start to benefit is flippery rocks like rocks and chain tires there's a huge difference i was gonna talk i was i was gonna stop at the taco truck on the way home i didn't though I really wanted to stop at the taco truck. Uh, we don't have to Jail go any further than that. That's, that's fine, though. And, and as cryptically as you can put it, works for me. Uh, mutation is real. One day it may mutate and take control, and we will be running around like bugged out zombies. Yeah, we'll be climbing well, to the top of. Uh, <laughs> we'll be. Crap, 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 crap. Well, sleep 45. Um, the main thing about any zombie outbreak is that the movies tend to exaggerate the discovery of the first zombie or the first contamination 
Um, there may, may very well have been already a zombie, but we're, we're actually very good at um, <laughs> the, new, the new discoveries, you know? Dengu so, like, if someone outbreak. were a zombie... Dengue fever outbreak in South Florida right now. Wow. Oh, dang, why? Uh, also, if you're bored and want to be amazed by numbers, look up uh, Graham's number. Go Googleplex. Yeah, that's 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 too that's too technical for me. But we don't count Congress. Oh, actually, I have an opportunity to try a sensory deprivation tank soon. Uh, huh? Loader popped in my chat. He said he wanted to try a sensory deprivation tank. So the, I think that might have been in response to the moon comment. So Loader, sorry if I'm late responding to this. Um, I. So I don't know. I might have the opportunity soon. There's a person in Meredith. Um, when I'm working on that mural that after we were working on the mural we might go to their spa and try their their um, floating tank their deprivation oh, tank okay already might be a zombie oh, Echo, Echo Spark no I mean they might have they might have uh, had something that was about to become one like a, a type of virus that could do that and they just said oh no and just you know destroyed it or froze it and stored it somewhere. As, like, yeah, probably st stored it for later. Uh, yeah, I just that, that's for later. Oh, you're messing with me. Yeah, no, I did. I try to I try to stay away from like um, completely losing my mind on a substance. <laughs> you know, like I I don't do that in my life. You know, the only thing that will quickly make me lose my mind is probably a, a work day. Yeah, it's funny how um, <laughs> drug, drugs are illegal, but a 12-hour workday is somehow fine. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just utterly bonkers. And then it's like, no, no, this this is this is inhuman, inhuman. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like, why is this happening? <laughs> uh, speaking of viruses getting out on accident, um, yes. Yeah, Here I wanted to go to the Yukon. I don't even know what I want to do in the Yukon. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know. So conveyor belt section one. Let's start with the first conveyor belt section. Yeah, there's Why a not? lot of large cargo. So we need two fuel, four consumables. I have a four slot trailer now. Where do I get the consumables? Let's see, the warehouse probably has them. Oh, no. Lost money. So, like, they quit or they got. Oh, yeah. Orthus, I do remember that. Tom Clancy's the. Oh, the division. Yeah. Um... I'm actually just going to go to the foothills and see what's there. Uh, okay. Um,. Also, there's apparently uh, a new a new drug that so because the U.S. government has been so good at uh, what's what's the really potent one that you're not supposed to get on your skin that gets a lot of stuff. Oh, um, I don't remember the name of it. Can't. But because the U.S. has done such a good job on their war on drugs. Uh, fentanyl, fentanyl. So because yeah. uh, because the U.S. has done such a good job at removing fentanyl from the marketplace, things are being placed. Fentanyl is being replaced by other stuff. And Philadelphia, I believe, is one of the worst places. And what happened is... It's like a, it's a, it's a drug that actually, or it's an additive to a drug that will actually rot your skin and your flesh from the inside. And you're basically just standing there completely zonked out of your brain. And rotting like as you are. Basically, yeah. I uh, encounter oh, really? um, fentanyl issues all the time in my line of work and it's not, not pretty. Who's, yeah. Which truck is this? Whose truck is this right here? Hmm? Oh, it's just a maintenance trailer. Okay. 
Yeah, I can't say much about about um, how I encounter it because um, of confidentiality issues or you know confidentiality policies. But I can say that it's a huge problem in New Hampshire. Like it's yeah. become like one of the major yeah. causes of death uh, in my immediate area. I have to go through the other side. Try something here. So chain tires and mud don't do anything? Um, not as effective as mud tires, but chain tires on rocks are wicked useful. I keep forgetting the Yukon has so many variable terrains that I should just do mud. Ooh, that popped a tire. Hello there, uh, King Supreme. Yeah, chain, chain tires on rocks. Um, actually, it allows you to grip rocks significantly better. I'm just doing conveyor section one, King Supreme. I don't know if you want to help me out with it. <laughs> Got him. All right, the reverse off this bad boy. make it uh, about to hit uh, level 12 uh, nice yeah chain tires honestly they're useful on paved surfaces that are icy and they are also incredibly useful for rock crawling get back from finally playing co-op there you go so I should probably pair there we go uh, it was only that tire. It didn't matter too, too. Here we go. Have this boy. Bella, leave them alone. Uh, I was reading a news article from my hometown on two people busted for meth. A man and a woman showed their photos, mother and son, or so I thought, until they listed the man's age as 50 and her age as 42. Uh, she looked yeah. like a bad lady. Yeah. Meth is a bad thing, and it also, one of the things that, that meth actually does is it wrecks your teeth because you, what is it, you stop producing saliva or something? I forget what, what it is specifically, but you need saliva in your mouth to maintain healthy teeth, and if you don't produce saliva, that dries your mouth, yep. Yeah, if you don't produce saliva, your teeth are going to start not doing so well. Oh, yeah. One of the interesting things is, too, is while it's recognized that health insurance is, you know, one of those things that everybody should have, uh, it's not recognized that dental insurance is a, is a thing that everybody should have. Wow, I just obliterated this truck. This little truck. Yeah, it, it's um it's true. Like eyes and teeth apparently it, yep. aren't part of the same system. Yeah, dental by insurance, insurance standards. is seen as a luxury. I echo Spark, no. Um if weed affects your teeth, then it's mostly because of negligence. Yeah. It it's like that's a personality thing. Our field is 130 gigs. I mean, that's about average now. Favorite in-game truck, the Navistar MV5000. And I'm I'm sorry we went to like a weird spot. Um, tell me that. Tell him I said oh, that. Oh, Ken, yeah. That is that is also an awesome name. Um, well, there's a lot of drugs that like even over the counter or prescription drugs they'll give you dry mouth. Not in the same way that meth does, though. <laughs> Caustic Contagion likes the Kenworth. I, I think the Kenworth is a phenomenal truck, but one of my favorite all-time, and it's not even the best truck. It's not even the, you know, the, the greatest truck in the game. Um, it's just a fun truck 
and I've had it since the pre-order bonus. The 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 MV5000, the Navistar, awesome. Because it really reminds me of like the war rig from Fury Road. Am I a noob for love oh, the Tega? Yeah. Not at all. The Tega is a phenomenal truck. Uh, are you talking about the Tega that you get in Tamir or which particular Tega? I've gone through here. Uh, too far back. Okay, back up, back up. No, I enjoy the Tega as well. Tega is a really useful user. Brock. Forget the model, been a few months, but yeah, the first Tega. Yep. Uh, yeah, the Tega in Tamir was one of the absolute hands down best trucks that you could get Woo! in the game. The Azov that was a Sprinter. Good trip. Holy crap. Azov I'm Sprinter. Doing nothing but one. Tonight. I gotta be right back. Alright. Yeah, the, um, the Tega, the 6455B, you have to unlock the um called the lumber mill unlock that particular tag out and it's it's that's one of the things that that is kind of annoying it's a fairly involved contract with a bunch of different azov sprinter is a weird one you can get that particular truck in uh the car desert rally like the mammoth up here there you go yeah, Dakar Desert Rally is a fantastic game. And if you like racing games that are off-road style racing games, that is definitely a game for you. I think it makes it... Oh, it makes a great sprinter truck. Yeah. I, I thought you were talking about specifically the Azov Sprinter that you get out of the uh, Tennessee map. Oh, uh, we get... Pull with this thing. I've returned. Have. There we go. All right, there we go. And we're making uh the tat the Tatra Phoenix is awesome. I like the Tatra Phoenix. And funny enough, the war rig from Fury Road is actually based on a Tatra chassis. Because if you watch the movie and you look at the undercarriage of the truck, you can see the telltale design of the Tatra. They call it the backbone, as well as the suspension configuration. And the Doof, uh, the Coma Doof Warriors truck also has, I believe, a Tatra chassis underneath as well. We need to go go across Fury Road was an amazing movie oh my god I, I did fought. love what's that I loved Fury Road it oh was yeah like top 10 movies for sure for me I I have bought a copy of Fury Road on so many different platforms it is ridiculous <laughs> it's just ridiculous nice uh Want to be suspended on a big rig in a cool outfit playing a guitar that blows fire? Yeah. Yeah. I think everybody what does. Wumping in some mud here. Let's get this up there. Uh, I'll be looking to get one more DLC this evening. If you could get only one, what would you choose? If I could get one DLC in this game, it would have been Amor. I did, on purpose. Amor is probably but, um... my favorite uh, because of how difficult it actually is. And it's a phenomenal DLC. Have you seen the documentaries on the genie? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Fury Road is a movie that should never have been made, but it got made, and it's incredible. So, Amor is DLC number four. It's the last DLC of the year one pass, and it's it's completely, okay, entirely worth it. 
Woo. That's actually where we just were. Uh, we were in Amor and we unlocked the, the tunnel and the garage and we were going for our um we were going for like a an adventure but the adventure didn't exactly work <laughs> the way we wanted it to no. uh watch the movies that made us on netflix yeah that is also a very cool cool series because it, it goes through a lot of stuff on uh touches on famous movies that almost didn't make it uh, Loader is out. He's going to give his armor rest. Loader, thank okay. you, dude. Thank you very much for well. hanging in there. Elma said that. Thank you very much for the follow. How are you, Loader? Really appreciate that. Get across up here. Oh, we were going to get a group photo in no more. We'll do it next time. That's all right. Uh, we were we were a little bit more spread out, but I uh, never knew Eric Stoltz was the original. Yes, he was uh, Eric Stoltz and he's actually I think in one of the scenes from like you can see him it, It's shot from behind So it still looks like Marty McFly as you know as done by Michael J. Fox, but Eric Stoltz Yeah, and where has his career gone? Mm, not too far, I don't think. All right, so we're gonna kind of try to cross over here. Yeah, I I think from what I understand, he was kind of notoriously uh, weird. I could totally see that. Yeah, um, he was. I thought it was he was fairly difficult to work with, although I may have read that about a different actor or whatever. Apparently not easy. Yeah, okay. Uh, apparently not easy to work with, hence Back to the Future. But that's why he was recast. Let us drag this thing over to this coastline. Also, Back to the Future Part 2, where Biff's gang is chasing Marty McFly, and they go through the building... And one of the actresses, one of the stunt actresses, hits the pole outside. You can see her drop to the ground, and her face smashes into the the pavement. Uh, she gets super messed up, but survived. Uh, continued her career until there was an issue with an ex and money, and it was really messed up. <laughs> There's some, yeah, some seriously messed up stuff. See, sometimes I don't want to know behind the scenes. King Supreme, hold on, I had that. Uh, can you let it go? Thank you. Oh, too Yeah, late. I know, right? Like, you don't want to know because your suspension of disbelief has been fully suspended and, yeah. Well, it's, it's like certain, with certain movies, I don't mind. And then, like, I'll hear behind-the-scenes stories, and and I'll be like, oh, you mean they weren't just having a jolly old time? <laughs> yeah, like, every actor was fighting behind the scenes or just something crazy like that. Uh, behind the scenes take the magic away. I like behind... The... I read... Uh, if I watch a movie or I watch a series, typically I'll go through and I will read the IMDB article. Band of Brothers was an exception. Oh, that was an amazing, amazing series. Band of Brothers was incredible. Dirty Nancy was another one. Jennifer Grey did not like Patrick Swayze. I did not know that. All right. I've been doing everything wrong this playthrough. I'm sorry, guys. I have managed to deliver one thing <laughs> band of brothers was an incredible incredible series um gonna start a site sfwbts that doesn't ruin the magic please was too hard on her they kind of reconciled later okay
Your dad served with some of those guys. Okay. Um, oh my goodness. Hold on, King Supreme. I'm about to attach it. There we go. There we go. Sorry, I was getting scared that we were going to lose the trailer again. I watch Band of Brothers all the way through every year before Memorial Day and the Pacific before Veterans Day. The, the, I watched the Pacific. It wasn't as emotionally impactful as Band of Brothers was because with Band of Brothers, you followed the same core of dudes around the whole thing. The Pacific jumped around a lot and you never really got a chance to focus on just one group. Uh, Band of Brothers is one of my all-time... Yeah. Uh, Band of Brothers, honestly, uh, Psych is another one. I know it's not the same kind of class, but man, oh man, I'll tell you, Psych is one of the all-time great... Um, all-time great series. Uh, toasted bagel with salami and cream cheese. Hit the spot, dude. That's awesome. Oh, I love that. I, oh my goodness. Or sounds... salmon, fresh, fresh salmon. And so, well, this is salami with chives. I would. I, no, I, I, I was would, just I saying would... another thing. <laughs> oh yeah, but you know what? I like another. I like both of these. Like both of these options. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh man. Um uh, excuse me, if you don't mind me. I think Ooh. I still have pork rinds. Check this out. Consumables. I need mean... consumables. <laughs> uh oh. thirteen hours. <laughs> oh man, there's no there's there's no more consumables left here. I need one more consumables for this job. Uh, where are their consumables? I also need a cabin. Conveyor belt section one. 13 hours. That was the one where the base was at the bottom of the valley and they were attacking from um, toasted garlic bagel with turkey, cream cheese, and tomatoes. Oh my God. That sounds great. That sounds so good. Um, okay. The Benghazi story. Okay. Um, tell him I said that it's kind of a running theme of this channel, and there's a particular reason why we have, um, where'd it go? We have channel point redeems that look like this. <laughs> Those stuffed cabbage rolls are made turned out. Oh, dude, I saw that picture you posted. That looked fantastic. 13 hours was a statement as well as a story. Well, Black Hawk Down. Look at Black Hawk Down from, say, a propaganda perspective. All, or, well, most movies up until a certain point were always kind of a... Uh, you can call me Tellum. Rolls off the tongue. All right. That's cool, man. Um, war movies that were produced by the United States were always in some way or fashion up to a certain point. Before you had independent media, um, they were propaganda film. They were always propaganda. It was USA all the way. Go, go, go. I mean, hell, even look at uh, Top Gun with Tom Cruise. You can't even begin to tell me that's not a little bit of uh, flag waving going on right there. Uh, they were stuffed with sweet Italian yeah. sausage, a rice and sausage. Dude, that's awesome. Uh, so much flag waving. Yeah. Black Hawk Down is a bit of an apologist view, but yeah. Yeah, they, they really kind of screwed the pooch on that one. They really, really boned themselves from a logistical standpoint. Uh, because of, of the constraints that the that they were under, and it it all came down from the top, and it just exacerbated itself. Uh, wasn't second Top Gun used for recruit? Uh, top Gun, the original Top Gun, was basically used as a recruitment film, and it worked. It really worked. But then again, think of this: the first Transformers movie. Not only was it a giant General Motors commercial for the Camaro or, you know, the, the, the GMC 4500, the Kodiak, or anything, you know, anything like that. 
But then you also had the U.S. military that played a huge part in Transformers. And it's, you know, we're the good guys. Whoopee! You know? What about all the other, what about the 170 other countries that are also good guys? <laughs> hey, man, they didn't fund this movie, so they can stay the hell out of it. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Oh, okay, Nic man. Nicaragua, you can, you can just, like, hang out. Like, it's fine. <laughs> We right. don't need your troops. That right there. Nope, we're the only good guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, that's so great. All right, we're going to recover that. All right, why don't we use this? Bless plays. How are you doing? G.I. Joe? That's right. Uh, G.I. Joe was nothing more than a glorified toy commercial all the way up until the movies and everything else. You have the biggest toys. Yeah. To a degree, yeah. We have the biggest toys or the most misappropriated funds toys? World War II movies <laughs> were the worst. See, here's, like, with all the older war movies, uh, The Great Escape and, and all of that stuff, that is a lot of, like, the Great Escape was supposed to be based on a true story. The dirtiest story. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hunt for Red October, another one. Yep. There's there's a lot of movies that take a shred of an actual story. Do you have any extra fuel, King Supreme? Completely twisted around. Crap. Boom, boom. I just yep. need a little bit. I'm trying to get to the fuel station up here, but we're going so slow through here that I don't know if we're going to make it. But um, I'm not a big fan of old war movies or well, thank you. westerns. I thank you, thank really you. don't care for old westerns. Like we're talking John Wayne style westerns. Um, I I don't know what it is about them. I try to paint it like the Allied forces did zero bad things the entire wartime. No, I know. If they did bad things, they had a good reason. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. Words. <laughs> words. <laughs> but there is a very interesting quote at the beginning of the movie Black Hawk Down and it's attributed to an old I believe a Greek philosopher who it, it's basically just stated that only the dead have seen the end of war and no truer statement could ever be spoken about a situation mm. like that uh, Platoon oh, yeah. showed some of the bad so did Sean Penn one where the squad kills the girl uh, was it Platoon and um, what's the one with Matthew Modine Matthew Modine as Private Joker. Uh, that's that's the one with uh, Private Pile and the with, ever uh, Full awesome. Metal Jacket. Yes, 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 yes. That's I love an Full incredible metal movie. It's a scary movie. Cherokee, what's going on, dude? I view that as a horror film. Oh, it's a super, uh, super, super messed up movie. But it's a movie that completely shifts gears halfway through and becomes a completely different movie all around. Uh, the boot camp was a lot of what I went through. Oh, okay. Oliver Stone. Oliver Stone is a messed up dude, but an incredible filmmaker. Uh, Full Metal Jacket confused the hell out of me halfway through, right? All right, we are going to get this upgrade part over here at like this little tiny outhouse or shed or the other. It's a shed. All right, this is the active suspension. Ooh, okay, I got you the active suspension for the Kolob 74941. Nice, thank you. You're very welcome. So we're right. still delivering some stuff to the conveyor belt. It's gonna be quite a trek here. I am, um, 
I think, unfortunately for me, this is this is kind of where I uh, I am going to be bowing out. Okay. Um, I'll probably uh, just deliver these and then call it good. The Private Ryan, saving Private Ryan. Yeah. That's my, um, one of my favorite. Uh, but had some issues in combat parts with the sounds. Okay. Saving Private. So I watched um, Saving Private Ryan, and then there was one I watched right previous to that, and the two couldn't have been more different. And I'm trying to remember what the hell movie it was that I watched previous to that. Was it, it was We Were really, Soldiers? Really good. What's that? Was it We Were Soldiers? Uh, that's the one with Mel Gibson. Yes. I don't think so. It was, um... I know I talked about it the other day. What is the purpose of active suspension? Okay, cost of contagion. Check this out. Suspension mode. This is active suspension. Truck goes up. Truck goes down. Down, it maybe tows better. It has a better center of gravity. It handles better in road characteristics. You go up. You have more ground clearance. You can clear rocks better. They added active suspension for the Azov 73210, both Kolobs, ANK MK38, and has active suspension. This is the Dairy Special 15C. Um, think of what else. There are a bunch of trucks that basically have active suspension. Uh, some of the Tuz trucks have active suspension. So. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's useful, especially on this truck. This truck, if you if you try to run it at maximum height suspension all the time, it is a little tippy, but once you lower the suspension down, it's very sure-footed. Spielberg hits the mark with war films. Yeah, dude dude is pretty hardcore with war films. Mm -hmm. The... Um, this is, it's, uh, it's 9.30 right now. We've gone pretty much past where we typically go. But, the thing about it is, we've had another wonderfully fantastic evening. The ever awesome Space Viking, who are we, we're gonna be hanging out on Saturday with Space Viking. Saturday. That's, that's fun. Saturday at the Plastic City Comic Con. If you were in Massachusetts, you should probably check that out. Just throwing it out there. Um, also, do not forget to check out Rise and Mind. That's the the oh, thank the you. Podcast has its very own Twitch channel. So Space Viking has taken the podcast and moved it over to its very own Twitch channel, which is fantastic marketing, mind you. That's a great idea. Um, you should be following that as well. I think, uh, let's, you know, who was in here earlier was Redbeard. Um, if you, ah. I don't, I don't know if you had a destination. Um, actually, you know what? How much longer are you going to go for anyways? Me? Yeah. Um, just until I deliver this. Okay. So, Space Viking is not going to be going too, too much longer. Uh, you guys are right over here, so you're you're pretty close to your final destination. I, I am. King Supreme is um, going to help pull me through the mud. It looks like. So, we're thinking. Yeah, caustic. Uh, I'm going to continue until I deliver. Which is not even all the stuff. I still have a bunch a more consumables. <laughs> or one more consumable. But so we're gonna go we're gonna go raid Redbeard five oh five. Um, nice. Tell him, thank you very much. We'll be back tomorrow. Six PM Eastern Standard. If you're around and you wanna watch some car racing or you wanna hop in and join us for Forza, we do fully flannel Forza Friday. Anybody who wants to race can jump on into the convoy. More than happy to have you. We will do the playlist all the way up until we have more than... Um, Redbeard, yes. Yes, yes he is. Uh, he is in Wisconsin right now. He's working on Wisconsin. And... 
I don't very think nice I guy. Did any? Uh... Oh, thank you, Loader. Musk, thank you very much for being here. I hope you have an awesome night. Um, we're gonna uh, we're gonna raid on out to Redbeard. We're almost there. I prefer driving at three um, kilometers an hour. Supreme, are you in low <laughs> high? All right. Low high goes through mud really well. Let's uh, let's all go say hi to Redbeard, and I'm pretty sure that when Space Viking has wrapped up his stuff, he's gonna be raiding on out too. He might raid Redbeard. He might not. Could be lunch meat. Could be I, peaches. I just might. <laughs> oh, he just might indeed. So all of you, fantastic, absolutely wonderful people. I appreciate you. Uh, we have had some delightful conversation this evening. Got to attend to some cast iron. Have a good night. All right. Not there yet, gamer. Thank you for being here. Thank you all for being here. I cannot thank you enough. Uh, you guys rock. And I enjoy the hell out of hanging out, talking, having a good time. Um, hanging out with King Space Supreme Viking. Says good night. And we're going to be hanging out with Space Viking Saturday. So there's that. In real, in the real life. In the real worlds. So if my wheels take care. stay on, I'll oh, be yeah. there. <laughs> All right. We'll catch you later. Good folks. Wonderful rest of your evening.